track Super villain on a track I'm taking it back I ain't giving nothing back You ain't even getting scraps I need all of that I'm gonna climb to the top of the map And I never look back I'll be, I'll be, I'll be killing the track I'm a super villain on the track I'll be killing on the track Super villain on the track I'm taking it back I ain't giving nothing back You ain't even getting scraps I need all of that I'm gonna climb to the top of the map And I never look back I'll be, I'll be, I'll be killing the track I'm a super villain up on the track Up on the track Let me back on the track And I'ma pick it up right where I left it at All these people talking trash When I'm only doing better and jack my cat I'm a villain on this track So let me go and get the mask Run it up before I blast You better duck and run fast Fuck the plan out of death Ain't got a problem with that I've been writing all last year You've been putting out some trash I'm moving fast I know that I'm gonna last You're gonna run out of gas And I'm gonna pass What's never the figure like that I'll say you'll be a thought in the past Hit the block in the fever the gas To the floor and I'm smoking on gas With a chick about to go get some gas Then I'm gone and I'm doing the dash You better stay in your lane Homeboy before you fuck around and crash You see I'm doing my thing Homeboy catch a foot in your fucking ass I be killing on the track Super villain on the track I'm taking it back I ain't giving nothing back You ain't even getting I need all of that. I'm gonna climb to the top of the map and I never look back. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be killing the track. I'm a super villain on the track. I'll be killing on the track. Super villain on the track. I'm taking it back. I ain't giving nothing back. You ain't even getting scraps. I need all of that. I'm gonna climb to the top of the map and I never look back. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be killing the track. I'm a super villain on the track. Up on the track. The man in the G. Turn the streets to the pain. Hey, I'm sick. Fuck up, sorry, even in my bracket, I'm hard to get in two face, stacking up money like Bruce Wayne, kicking it like Roz, and Miss Freeze on my chain. Y'all sick of me, well, I know the Joker, y'all a sideshow. Some of y'all just might blow, but I'm doing this thing on the mic, bro. Uh. I be killing on the track, super villain on the track, I'm taking it back. I ain't giving nothing back, you ain't even getting scraps, I need all of that. I'm gonna climb to the top of the map, and I never look back. I be, I be, I be killing the track, I'm a super villain on the track. I be killing on the track, super villain on the track, I'm taking it back. I ain't giving nothing back, you ain't even getting scraps, I need all of that. I'm gonna climb to the top of the map, and I never look back. I be, I be, I be killing the track, I'm a super villain on the track. Up on the track, up on the track. Yeah. Welcome to the O Show. What Woo. up? It's me, Bad Idea, sitting here with the homies Trip T and T.O. the Tyrant. The tyrant and Trippy Two Times. Trippy Two Times in the building. Um, Trip will be now joining us for this little adventure that we're having, yep. so to speak. Um, I'm excited, to be honest. You're excited? Yeah, it's going to be dope. I'm excited. It's going to be fresh. It better be. It's going to be punk. I don't know what that means. But I don't know what it means. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, so this is episode number two. And everybody is fucking stoned at the moment as I look around the room. Hell Which is okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So, let's jump right into things, I guess. Oh. Matter of fact, shout out to AG. Yeah, shout out. As our to first AG. song played of the night, Super Villain. It's pretty fresh, man. Featuring I me. Bad idea. It. Iowa's AG. Iowa or Iowa's? Iowa's. I thought so. Yeah, ownership. Yeah, for sure. He's Iowa's own. True. Where did I go? You with? know, that's kind of cool because. Um, in doing a lot of the research, I don't mean to cut you off. No, but it just popped in my head, but like looking around and everything like that, when I came up with my own artist name, um, not to like talk about myself for a second, but a lot of people don't know like T.O. is like my actual initials. Yeah. So looking around like T.O. the Tyrant, I, I've never found anything. And like, I, I think I recently seen one thing that was like extremely close. Yeah, t- uh, t- 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 Tyrant. Tyrant. the Tyrant. And I was yeah. like, whoa. It blew me away because I've never come across anything even remotely close. So that's that's really cool to have something that's like truly your own. Yeah, yeah, because there's really not too many people that's like. Right. Has so I mean, I grew up. I grew up going to school with a dude named Trip. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, and that's exactly what we always did. A lot you of know, people like, actually think that Trip is my real name, but it's it, it's 
not. I, it might I, as well be, though. I feel that. I, I, you, at least you guys, that's all you guys call me. Is I feel that. A lot dude, of people call me Aaron. Unless, unless I'm yelling at you. My mom never even yeah. called me Yeah, and my then name. it's Aaron. Yeah, then it's Aaron. <laughs> then it's Aaron. If I'm in trouble, you call me Aaron. It's and Aaron. I, and I'm like, uh. Because it's like, God damn it, Aaron. Here it comes. <laughs> that's, that's exactly like my mom, because, like, you know, people call, had a nickname for me, Mr. Six, in high school. I'm like, even my mom called me that. And Why isn't that your rapper name? I don't know. Because he's not six. Yeah. Oh. He's well, the what top. was it? It was uh, that old bald dude with glasses that was like the representative dude for like Six Flags. That was his name too. Oh, for real? The old guy. In the <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's well, that's, oh, that's fucking weird. That's But I'm beyond crazy. that anyway. That's so. awesome. So yeah, let's jump into some topics. Man. Tio, what you got? I got all types of shit to talk about this week. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I don't really, I don't care for politics, and this is the closest that I'm going to get, so let's just jump and get that out of the way. Public Enemy is going to be performing at a Bernie Sanders rally in L.A. on fucking March 1st. Wow. Um, I guess a lot of it has to do with their message for a long time, you know, carrying some type of influence politically or whatever about this and that. I didn't really read too much. I don't like reading about political bullshit. No, fuck the um, politics, but that's hip hop as fuck. That, yeah, that's that's really what she's saying. Uh, yeah, like. Yeah, and that says, they said that, like, Sarah Silverman and Dick Van Dyke are going to be there attending and, like, participating in the event and shit like that. So. Who? Sarah Silverman. Uh, okay, I don't know. Who Dick is. Van Dyke. Okay, and he's, like, an old TV host, right? <laughs> he's, like, old as With fuck. Public Enemy. Yeah. The two whitest people you could find in the world, and you stick them with Flavor Flav. <laughs> fucking Bernie Sanders, man. Oh anyway, God. so like if you're if you if you catch this, you know, tomorrow and you're fucking in LA, it's gonna be at the LA Convention Center. Um Sunday, March first, starts at three PM. <laughs> your time uh, your yeah. time. If somebody can get an autograph from all of them, like on a public enemy t shirt, I'll pay for that shit. That'd bro. be that'd be a weird collective. That would be like it, exactly it's the weirdest it's, shit in the world. Not. Like that'd be the most random thing to own ever. <laughs> <laughs> like I got a public enemy shirt that's signed by public enemy and, and Sarah Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> and Dick Van Dyke. Like what the fuck? You get Bernie Sanders to sign it too. Oh my god, that is fucking. That's great. He might ask you for your money again. <laughs> that's okay. I don't know if I'd want to talk to him. I have nothing to give you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> speaking of shows and uh, stuff like that, um. There was recently this, I, I don't know if this is even relevant to anybody or anything, but Green Day? Yeah. Anybody a Green Day fan? I like Green Day. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not since I was like five. Okay. Okay, so um, they put out a new billboard, and the billboard read, no features, no Swedish songwriters, no trap beats, 100% pure uncut rock. What the fuck? And the internet is going fucking crazy over this shit because they're saying it's a stab at uh, trap music, and they're hating on trap music. I mean, I mean, it's their opinion, though. If they and they they in the beginning they made punk rock and then they started playing radio shit and like which is whatever because I mean yeah. if you want to be serious you know if you're in the game the point is to fucking expand your reach. And well, yeah, I but mean, that exactly. was also what it was at the time like to See, play it, that pop punk shit like because yeah. if you look they followed the when, current trend and they went well with yeah because when like some forty one and shit was out they were still doing their like harder shit they all but then did. when like uh, My Chemical Romance and bands like that came out that's when they came with the fucking American idiot like super yeah. poppy shit the whole yeah. like emo scene. And shit like that. Man, we used to hate on those kids so hard in high school. <laughs> like, so hard. Like, they were... But they were cool kids, but they were just gay. Yeah. It just looks... We probably shouldn't say gay on here. It's okay. I just, I just thought like, about that. I was gay. Hard no, I mean, like, we might uh, offend the LBGQT. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. Because we definitely, we definitely want anybody and everybody that hears us to, uh, you know, listen along and, and, and get involved with what we got going on here. Um, but while we're talking about music and bands like that, I seen yesterday that Papa Roach's singer, fucking, was it Jacoby Shaddix or whatever, um, celebrated like eight years of being sober on February 9th. So, whatever. But I, I guess that's kind of Congratulations cool. to him. I mean, I, I'm, just <laughs> yeah. saying, I'm just saying, okay, so to me, it's relevant because like right now, like, okay, if you know me, I'm, I'm trying to do some shit, get my CDL so I can make some better money. Um, I got a few kids, got one on the way, but anyway... Uh, 
I need more money, you know, and uh, I got to stop smoking weed myself because as you know, you can't do that with the CDL. So to me, it's relevant. So like just to see that, I mean, even though it says it's only like eight years and there's people with hell of a lot longer than that, but I don't know. It was just kind of something I saw and was like, oh. no, that's cool. Like I'm not, and these I'm people, not and these are people that are like out cool. there, like, you know, probably really, really hard boozing it and drugging it, you know, yeah. and here I am yeah. talking about like, I'm like, oh, I don't want to stop smoking weed. <laughs> I don't think anybody ever made a conscious decision to really be like, hey, I just really want to stop smoking weed. I mean, I know some people, to be honest with you. Well, some people don't like you know, weed, but, but people who the only people weed you know, every single day yeah. for a long time have don't just be like, hey, you know what? I don't want to smoke but weed. But see, and that's the thing. is like, I don't want to, but at the same time, like, it's... It'd be it's, it's an adult, you do it's an you adult do. family, exactly. it's a family decision exactly. that I have to make, you know. But <laughs> so I mean, I thought, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that is dope. What? Tyler Dunn. Oh. TD, the savage, is calling me right now. <laughs> Should I answer? Hell yeah! yeah put that shit on answer that call. shit. Welcome. You're you're live on the what air. What up? What up, bro? Shit, doing this podcast shit. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to interrupt. You're live on the air with the Yo Show! Alright, bro, well, I'll talk to you later. Oh. Alright, man. Oh, oh. You got hella uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> that was probably. great. Oops. I'd be like, what I'd be fuck? taken off by that. Too. Yeah. If I called somebody in there, like, what up? We're the fucking fucking show! <laughs> Yeah, that would, uh, that would, that would, nah, don't cool. do that. Don't, don't ever do that to me. If you guys, like, run off and do your own podcast shit ever, oh, man. don't let me call you and you answer. Are you here? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> I would like, motherfuckers, fighting everybody. Well, we're talking about music, uh, Mudbane has been broken up for a while, and metalheads know that, but oh. they are talking, <laughs> 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 but they are talking about doing a tour. I don't know if it's this year or next year, the way uh, they put it was really vague, but they said that they could put their differences aside enough to come back and do a tour. That's professionalism. It, it really is, because Mudbane was the shit. They really, they break they, up. And they generated so much money, and you they know, didn't even get a lot of radio play. I mean, they... With certain songs, they did. Yeah. I don't but, remember. Other a long than, time ago. Do you honest. know why they broke up? Uh, they all it really said was that they just had differences, and rather than uh, keep going through it and fighting with each other, they wanted to remain friends. So they Somebody kind of split up and problem. did their own. Shit. But <laughs> guaranteed, I think that <laughs> what somebody <laughs> had a drug problem. Oh hell yeah, they yeah. had drug. They all probably. That's what had I'm drug saying. Problems. Like the lead singer especially has a fucking heroin problem. Are these the guys, did they wear face paint? Yeah. They it's do. The dude, it's the dude that had like the really long goatee that he braided and had like the blue braid and shit. And he okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I've seen, and they had the, the video bullet. where it's like a white background. Yeah. I saw him in concert. That was like, that was like their first one, Dig. I saw okay. him in concert. Yeah, and he was in a big fucking pink <clears throat> gorilla suit with a fedora and a bloody ass face. Berber. Dang. And he had to have been so hot. I, I, fun fact, Trip lost his shoe at that concert and broke three toes. I chased that shit. I chased that fucking shoe through the whole show. Man. And by the time I fucking got to it, because I had to shove my way through a bunch of fat people, fucking, I get over there and I'm like, oh my god, my shoe was like ten feet away from me. I'm almost there, and I just see this guy pick it up, and he has this look in his eye, and I'm like, oh god, no, don't do it. I threw it on stage. I just want to plug this in right quick, just as continuing not to offend anybody. Um, these so by no cool. means are the personal views or opinions of anybody. This is all just general conversation. <laughs> yeah, this Continue, is Continue, sure. sir. Oh, well, Fuck I lost that. my I'm shoe. I was, I was very mad. What? I lost my fucking shoe. Look, bro, you got new shoes but on right now. Yeah, but the point is, I broke toes because I'm at a Mudbane show. I'm not going to go... I'm not gonna stand there and not mosh. Jumra 48. These are some. <laughs> st okay, these are some dope shoes. Difference. They look sh they look shitty because I'm hard on my shoes. But <laughs> when I first got them, 
Everybody thought they were Jordans, and they're just Amazon shoes. I got these Amazon. for fucking twenty eight dollars. Amazon be having those knockoffs. I thought they they're were They're knockoffs, but they can really look. They look at they're holding up better than they look Jordans. Like cross between Jordans and what's that Asics? They got plastic yeah. on them, and that yeah, bugs I me. See. That weird I see design it. on their bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, enough of about you. <laughs> Uh, let's move on this motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> WWE show where, Super Showdown. God, I'm stuck on fucking shoot. Right <laughs> WWE Super Showdown. Showdown. Shoot yeah, Showdown. Um, no, Super Showdown. Did you get to finish it? Uh, no, but I did look at what I, I missed like three matches, maybe four, three at the most, I think. So. Did you get? Did you? You don't even give a fuck about wrestling. I don't give. No, but I will pretend to. Okay, for you guys. all right, cool. So, um, the cool. only thing that I give a fuck about that whole night because a lot of titles didn't change and it yeah. kind of made me salty because one, I like to see Naomi become the SmackDown yeah, Women's Champion. Yeah, I did see that. Because I'm tired that. of Bailey. Yeah. Um, but the only thing that I was excited for is they gave Goldberg the fucking title. Yeah, I saw that. I do know who Goldberg is. is he, he's still around? He's, well, he's, he's got to be old he's as just, shit. He just came back. He got really? Out. He How got, old is he? He's got to be in his 50s. Hold on. He's got to be old as fuck. Yeah. Probably late, really late. Well, I'd say early to mid-50s. That's Come on. my guess. Come on. I'll figure he it looks out. really good for his age, though. I'm not even going to lie. Like, he looked great. Not No fucking homo. No, that was gay shit. That does sound pretty... Oh, it's okay. We love gay people. We're just joking. There's no being well, yourself. Well, athletically speaking, you know, like the man's been gone for a long time. And He's only 53 years old. I thought he was like 90. <laughs> I told you he's in his 50s. Yeah. He ain't that old. He looked uh, old when I remember. He was that <laughs> like he made pretty quick work out of fucking Bray Wyatt. Um, for the most part. Yeah, he like pretty much just came in the ring, speared him a few times. Yeah, right off the bat, wasn't it? But if you uh, look at the jackhammer that he pulled, though, it really, like to me, wasn't that good. Mm-hmm. Like, it kind of seemed like he struggled a little. Bray's a big boy. That's true. That's I mean, true, but I've seen boy. I've seen Goldberg lift up some pretty I was going to say, yeah, you can hold them motherfuckers yeah. up there for a good minute. Yeah, so, that like, was his thing. I expected more out of that, but he, it's I think it's setting up for WrestleMania, WrestleMania. Oh, so that maybe either Goldberg's going to go against somebody else or Goldberg's going to go against Bray again. Well, I mean, they have the Elimination Chamber coming up, and is Naomi in that? Oh, for the women's champion? Yeah. Um, most, no, no. No. I don't think so. I was going to say maybe they could use that and set that up for WrestleMania, but obviously. I, no. I don't know. Yeah, I'm tired of Bailey's shit, too. She looks bitch. Over it. I'm over <laughs> it. I don't want to see Carmella get it, though. Nah. I don't want to see that. I'd rather see Naomi get it or uh, or Liv Morgan. Somebody that's like, I like true Liv Morgan. themselves and their, their fans and stuff. Like, I don't, I don't like all of them. Like, or give it back to Becky. Bring back Becky two belts. Becky. Might as well. Give that shit to Becky. See? 2020. 2020. Give that shit to Becky. Give me that Becky. Who was that, Plies? I'd fuck yeah, that. I remember that, <laughs> that shit. That shit was lit, uh, My like, stepsister used to listen to that song, and I thought it was, like, retarded. Yeah. Who's that by, Plies? Plies, yeah. Damn. I believe so. I like Plies, though. <laughs> Well, that song sucks. That dude, that song How did we sucks. get a... Okay, imagine... Go back to that time in your mind and think about the hip-hop that was going on in what at time? that time. Like, um, like the time of like when Plies was first coming out. Like, when Soulja Boy was super hot. Oh when fucking God. D4L was out. When That was like the worst <clears throat> time of my life. <laughs> Can we not think about that? Why? No, I'm just saying from like a hip-hop aspect. <laughs> Like, think back to that time. That's when I made I fuck shit up. I remember that. Um, That's a little bit after that. that era, but yes. Like, it was, that shit was still hot, but it was not like uh, the trap era was starting to come up. You put on a white skin. But yeah. Skin. What? You put on a white tee. You want me to put... I no, have... I said, did you? Like, I don't know. Did you make a fucking era appropriate song? Oh, okay. Oh, at that time? I yeah. wasn't around. I just so, made this, know, like, this. Um, <laughs> we had, uh, well, Blame It on the Wii was it made was on Devil's Eminem. Night One. It was on Devil's Night One. Yeah, I fucked oh, it up, sure. yeah. Okay. And then, uh, little known outsider fact, I then took the beat, flipped it, and dish trip, 
on yeah, the same beat, and it sucked. It was terrible. Yeah, I was still like, <laughs> I was still a shitty rapper at the time. So like, but I was just coming up, so my songs were hit and miss. Yeah, yeah, and I tried right. to take what Trip did, and I mimicked everything, and but shot it back at him. Yeah, he called me because, fat. Yeah, I called him fat. I'm, I'm still kind of fat. I've but, called, like, but I've called you fat a few times in my I, life. It doesn't the bother me, The first time me, you man. tried to kill me. Do you, do you, you, yeah, the first time you called. Okay. Dad bods for the win. No. When me and Brian, <laughs> yeah, for sure. No. <laughs> no, we were, we were, what, how old were we? Uh, like fucking 12. Eight, 12? Yeah. Okay, I'm way off. But we were at this museum, and I don't School know field why. Trip. Chicago. Yeah. But oh, I don't know why. Brian was just, he was. He just looked an like an child. asshole, and, and was. he was mean, and I he was, was a mean kid, and he's Fuck always it. mean to everyone else except for me. But that day, <laughs> he called me a fat ass, and I don't know what it was. Maybe it was because my mom stole my PlayStation Two to get some crack, but I decided to push that motherfucker. That's happened and so many times, though. So many times. There's been like <laughs> fucking three, four, five, six times. One time, my mom stole my PlayStation Two and sold it. It. For more money for crack than she did a vehicle. Oh, shit. That's how stupid she is. Wait. She, what? She sold the PlayStation for $80. Sold the car for 50 <laughs> She did. She did. She rented oh. it to the crack oh. man, and he uh, never came back. The and they found never her, came back. Uh, my grandma's car oh, in uh, <laughs> Illinois. I don't remember where. Yeah. Anyway, I tried to kill Brian. Yeah. Pushed him. He almost fell over the uh, railing, and we were, like, on the second floor. And he would have fell and probably fucked up. There was a dinosaur exhibit underneath you, I wasn't probably would have died. Oh, I you would have definitely, you would have been impaled. Yeah, for I sure. Fuck. But, <laughs> like, all, but some dude problems. just snatched up Brian and was like, hey, <laughs> cut it out. No, that's all he fucking did. Not but then afterwards, his mom got a hold of my grandma, and they made us hang out. And uh, Look, the I don't first remember thing I part. said to him when he came to my house was, no. "All right, go ahead." It cut out for a second. And he said, "Hey," I said, "Hey, you smoke weed?" And he was like, "I've never smoked weed before." And so we got high, and then we've been best like best buds ever since. We fight yeah. every once in a while. Like but... friendships I've made because of that. Like literally, I remember when I moved down to Arkansas when I was like right before I finished high school. Maybe it was a little bit after, but I moved into this place and I had this neighbor that I always seen this little big dude named Matt. When I was literally outside smoking a cigarette one day, he walked by me and then like he stopped and turned around and walked back and he's like, "Hey man," he's like, "You smoke? You smoke bud?" And I'm like, "Hell yeah!" And he's like, "You want to get high?" And I was like, "Hell yeah!" And we were like best friends ever since. Still to this day, and I'm like, this I have never smoked years. before. <laughs> like that was my so first time getting high. <laughs> no, nah, my first time getting high. I don't even remember like being fucked up. Yeah. You know what though? Hold on. Hold this motherfucking thought. We're gonna run to a song, and then we're gonna come back to this weed situation. Let's talk about weed for a minute. Okay. I'm All right. Good. So we're gonna play extra overdose. Yeah. Let me slow it down. Slowing it down. The Osho. He's trying. I'm fucking trying, y'all. He's fucking <laughs> trying to do the shit. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. It's all good. We can just Extra overdose. It. Let me slow it down. A.K.A. Rap too fast. <clears throat> Check it out. Love it. So show. We'll what be back. What the fuck? I'm sorry. That was like right in your face, but I was aiming at my... Fuck with me, that's the vibe I get. See, I rap too fast every time I spit, so I had to slow it down. Take them back to light speed, it's sweet dreams. American lyrical predator raising the temperature, never been regular. Let me slow it down before I get ahead of ya. That's your baby moms, let me hit the neck of her. Said her name Jenny, but I call her Jennifer. Me, myself, and I in a room for competitors telling me never say never. Don't give a fuck about whoever claiming they better change the fortune of things over. Don't your veins up closer to what I'm saying? What I'm saying on my moms, I ain't playing. Mind racing, wrong probation. Trevor shot dead, damn, wish I could have saved him. It's my private life. I won't stop till my block is right. Sit tight, pause just midnight. My soul will be twilight, midnight. I push on your great sight, never sight. Can give a fuck what you like because when I get this pain ripping apart, your ligaments for touching kids. I'm vigilant, I'm equivalent to and two of my element. Let me slow it down, because, because, 
ass every time I spit. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me slow it down a bit. Yeah. They say I rap too fast every time I spit. Well, well, yeah. let me slow it down a bit. Look, violin and Jay and Shaggy is too dope. Yesterday, you watch a young girl hit this up. I wrote Facebook Live. What a surprise. Innocent lies, victimized. Two lies, out of lies, waiting on my demise. Must have been in love. I was the suicide. My morals ain't stabilized. The music I utilize. Never go exercise. Be the reason I am alive. Speaking thoughts in the words that I feel inside. My private life, I won't stop to my family, right? Sit tight as my bars take flight. You stuck at a red light, writers block majority. Tell me you can't write. Cause the shit you say ain't fan or even make sense. Let me show you bricks what I do with a pen. Last tape was a waste, so I'm proving again. Prove that I do this to win. Inject dirt, inject in. They say I rap too fast every time I speak. Well, well. Yeah. Let me slow it down a bit. They say I rap too fast every time I speak. Well. It's your boy Kyle over here at the yard. Uh, man, these bodies are fucking stacking up here. I'm going to have to charge you guys by the pound instead of by the stiff this time. Um, these fuckers are fat, man. Hey, Kyle, you got that saw? Yeah, I got the fucking saw. All right, man. I got to get to work here. Uh, I'll see you guys later with that uh, invoice. Uh. Yeah, she was a blood so beauty queen in the bathtub filled with gasoline. Fresh face on my body image terrorist. Skin suits peeled right at the wrist. Yeah, going to hell on a murder ride. Don't be a bitch, get the fuck inside. It's what you wanted, so this is what you get. Something sharp in your neck. She never seen it coming from the side too fast. Broke a fucking nose with the baseball bat. I kept swinging till I only seen jumps. I left the body face down in a slump. Another night going down a long dark road. Another body ain't come back home The flies keep telling me the same phone numbers Over and over Tell me to kill you They don't know that I already lost control With my eyes steady rolling road I'm about to put you in that hole And they never gon' find you Michigan Misfits with Backwoods. I hope you guys enjoy that. Get out there, give them a, you know, a peep, check it out, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, show them some love, whatnot like that. Um, Before we get into anything, weed. I have always, well, I gotta get back to the weed subject. <laughs> um, it always comes back to weed. I, well, I have a separate story that doesn't have to do with weed, but tell it. Anyway, shout out to Underground as Fuck. Yo, yo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout guys. out to fucking uh, Puffin Stuff, the clothing brand. Um, shout out to Crooks Cartoons. I feel like you're struggling. Yeah, I'm trying to remember thing off top because um, my phone's not open and I'm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so See, back to this weed shit. The weed be letting you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but shout out to all you guys. Yeah, Thanks for so real. Much. And shout out to the weed. Oh, All right. Um. So back to the weed. Like I was saying before, I uh. 
I, the first time I smoked, I didn't really get high. Yeah. Or I didn't feel it. Is that normal? Yeah. That happened I guess to me. or no? I know my when first time, high, like, I come to find out it was like some legit old school creeper weed, which I haven't had that shit in years, but uh, I didn't think I was high at first, and then all of a sudden that shit just hit me like a fucking train. Well, I remember seeing like a uh, black dot <clears throat> racing back and forth. <laughs> Across my eyes, and that's it. Uh, we it was uh, blueberry yum yum. Mm, nice. yep. Blueberry yum yum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chip, look, Chip looked at me and said that just like that when we were I was thirteen, and I, I guess I was baked at this point. You were it, baked. It sounded like a cat. We smoked hella weed, dude. Yeah. We got hella crazy man. stories. Still do. Used to too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not for long for you. Damn, he's like, you reminded me. Motherfucker. You motherfucking dick. <laughs> I hate you. Alright. Um, what do we got on the list? Anybody? Somebody splurge something out? I said splurge something out. Oh, splurge. Fucking, Why did I say splurge? This coronavirus like shit is fucking everywhere, man. That's... There's just more and more and more shit coming out. Real fake fact. What does that even post. fucking do to you? So, so like, does it make you die? Yes. It's, okay. Why? It does have a mortality rate. I think it, it was. I don't know the percentage. I don't want to throw <laughs> out there and be corrected or be told that I'm wrong or whatever. But like, it can cause some like pretty bad respiratory shit and cause you to die. Yeah. Or, like, um, man, fucking Hong Kong, dude. They're giving out free money to people to stay as permanent residents. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. And is it the Mexican beer virus? <laughs> in an effort to jumpstart their economy again because um, they've already been having like a bunch of protests and riots Whoa. due to the, the, the coronavirus outbreak as it is. So like they're they're trying to I think this is like twelve hundred dollars, almost thirteen hundred dollars or something like that to people just to try to convince them to stay. They said their economy is, like, so bad because of it. It's, like, the worst there is in 10 years, which is funny because... Well, it's not funny because I've seen today our stock market's all fucked up, too. So, weird how one little virus can do that. Oh, yeah. Um, two things, actually, that had to do with both those fucking things. Um, the Corona beer brand <laughs> has lost $132 million <laughs> since the virus outbreak. Fuck. Because people think that it has something to do with the virus and the beer. Yeah. It has something to do with each other. Oh, okay. man, that's, that's wild. People are fucking retarded. That's... <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you people? That, oh my God, so much of my shit ties in with it because, like, that kind of just, it reminds me that, like, um, fucking coronavirus merch is, like, starting to pop up. Fuck yeah. It's now available all over the internet. Shit. We should capitalize on that shit. Speak, no. It's disaster okay. capitalism at its finest. That's literally the tagline that I have here because that's exactly what it said in the Speaking of which, the next single from Outsiders is called The Coronavirus. The Mexican Beer Virus. Yeah, <laughs> a.k.a. The Mexican Beer Virus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, no, but and for the... Uh, you said something Jeez. about the stock market or whatever. Yo. That shit crashed, bro. It's the biggest crash since 2008. Damn. And, like... Uh, I don't know nothing about the stock market, so I can't sit here and say, but the Dow has been in the negative for whatever, and that's bad, but um, Bitcoin, you know that shit everybody was investing in and shit? Yeah. No. That's down. Way down. Bro, no, nobody's investments are worth a fucking cent. That's how bad it is. Damn. Damn. If you have Bitcoin right now, nothing you have on there is worth a fucking penny. Oh, wow. No matter what it is. Yeah. Damn, dude. And people were like making like I don't know that shit, bro. But that's why millions yeah, like of dollars that, uh, of online currency. People do the Acorn app. People do like all that shit, bro. That shit's yeah. liable to crash. That's like, why I don't, you don't really, know about it. Don't play in it. That's why I don't like banks and shit and savings accounts. Cause like, man, like it's all it's all like online and digital. And you know, if that shit goes down, there's no proof it ever existed in the first place. Everything you had, maybe you worked your whole life, saved up. Put gone, put back, all gone, just like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's wild. This nigga, oh, I said nigga on the line. Oh my bad. Um, damn. We'll bleep that later. To the corner. Um, yeah, with a beep 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 beep. 
I'm hella high. That's what he was trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, really yeah, I'm Chip like is like passing out. Eight. No, I'm not passing out, man. But like before I came over, I smoked a joint. And then Lisa came over and I hit her dad pen like four times. And then I came here and uh, we smoked a blunt. Yeah. So I'm, <laughs> <laughs> all day before that, I've been smoking bowls. So, like, I'm just fucking toasted. Oh, yeah. And nipples. Nipples. I guess. Yeah, nipples are important to the conversation. Just like your shoe. My shoe is Your two main points of this whole fucking show has been your shoe and your nipple at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I remember. I, I always said big. nipple because I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, okay. And I took a little microdose of mushrooms. I do that in the morning sometimes because it helps me not be depressed or anxious. And it doesn't make me trip balls. It doesn't really make me feel any sort of way except actually... Just you just seem a little more socially acceptable. At exactly. Time. I don't do drugs. Exactly. And I know you don't do mushrooms, but I I, do like at this point, man, Period. like it. No, it's like medicine. This shit could be medicine. I mean, it should be medicine. Fuck, Dem- I, I mean, I'm Denver they're trying de- to get uh, Denver decriminalized the usage of fucking mushrooms. Yeah, so like, they're trying <laughs> to make all that shit and uh, acid and shit. They're trying to make yeah, acid legal. Eighty like small micro dosing everything. Yeah, eighty percent of cancer patients. That were given uh, psilocybin, oh, mm-hmm. which is the active ingredient in mushrooms. Uh, 80% of them experienced uh, less fear about dying. They weren't anxious and they actually were, no, they were happier. They were kinder to people. They weren't, like, they were assholes before. I mean, we, we, to, can't, we can't really sugarcoat it because it truly is what it is. I mean, when you trip, you're still fucking high. Well, I mean, that's, yeah, that's but, uh, okay, you know well, it's I mean? different, so, it's different, okay, if well, you, no, smoke, know, if you smoke crack, <laughs> you get really fucking high, if you take a quarter of mushrooms, yes, you get really high, but it, it it's like, it's, oh, no, okay. I don't know, for me, it, at least, it gave me a, like, almost like a revelation, crack? like, uh, yes, Cracking mushrooms, man. No, I thought that was just yours. I thought we were still. No, the, I, was, I said you if started you, talking about crack. I said and I know you how you get when you talk about crack. You can just like talk about crack for hours. So I'm I talking just, about mushrooms. I just let me go, brother. I'm gonna hit you <laughs> in the face. Mushroom blunts. That's not my kind of mushroom shit. blunts. I'm the cool. Psilocybin burns. It doesn't. It it's yeah, not active know. after 40 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So if you smoke it, it's kind of a waste. I bet you get high though. Yeah. Probably. I mean, just just eat that shit like a man. Just I actually, I've don't grown, do drugs. I've kids. Grown no, do all the drugs. No. Experiment and then find out Nobody that all you need is weed. Right That's now. the Smoke only way to know. Nothing said on this podcast is true. Smoke school. Go to drugs. <laughs> Smoke bath. Go to school. Speaking of fucking drugs, drugs and crime and, <laughs> yeah. and <laughs> there was crime. no crime involved. Well, drugs Ruffles. are illegal, so yeah, this is the bad rough mother podcast. mother fucking gruff McGruff. The dude oh, got yeah. busted for like. Didn't he have a grenade launcher? Bro had hell of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dude that played Scruff McGruff. Take a bite out of crime no, I and no shoot idea. people. <laughs> Motherfucking dog that wore a trench coat and shit like that. He was kind of like... What was this? Was this a TV show? or He was kind of like the police equivalent of the fucking dare thing. The dare, the dare, the dare line know. was like the anti-drug. You know like, like that big dog in the fucking trench coat and shit? Um, and he that, would like come to school and be like, if time? you do drugs, to, you're going to... school? What you like? We didn't get school. that, bro. Like in dare and everything. When we went through that, we got a cop come to the did school you know and that, that was did it. You, did you know that I dare programs the increased that. drug use? In most, teenagers, most they likely. remove marijuana from their list of fucking shit. Yeah. For they like should individual. just. My opinion is we should just. <coughs> oh, maybe I have seen that. I forgot what I was gonna say. I thought maybe I was too young for it or something. Like I missed the TV show in the eighties or something. So what is it? Is hella old. So I know you remember some things that we don't. How old are you? Forty-five. Are you, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me, dog? McGruff the crime dog. <laughs> he just he's changed it. Like, he's not 45. He's not 45. How old is he? He's like 36. How old are you? He's <laughs> like, I'm not listening to Brian. No he he just does not want to say it. You don't ask the lady for pot. 
<laughs> jail for grenade launchers. <laughs> he went to jail for weed and grenade launchers. Uh, so oh, he was arrested. Me. Look, in that dish reminds me of something. Keep going. He was arrested in 2011 when a dog, a drug sniffing dog in Texas, detected uh, found some weed and he was pulled over for speeding and shit like that. Um, and then they found like uh, diagrams. It looks like of. Uh, Looks like like two indoor grow ops and shit like that. So like, what they did was they raided his fucking house and they seized like over a thousand plants. <laughs> Damn it! And over nine thousand round, rounds of ammunition. <laughs> well, if you got bro had, had plants, bro, bro had an ready. assortment of twenty seven different fucking weapons, including grenade launchers, because McGruff must have a lot of enemies. That's what they said. But sixteen years in fucking jail. So apparently. If you want a grenade launcher, man, quit waving that shit around, man. Don't let nobody know. <laughs> Don't let nobody know. Just take Speaking care of your of business. Famous people and guns. Did you know that the uh, lead guitarist of Cannibal Corpse? I don't know what the fuck he was doing. They didn't specify. I think he was drunk and tripping balls. But yeah, there was their guitarist. Yeah, and he he went over to his neighbor's house and was like, "The aliens are coming, and I gotta sacrifice you to Satan." <laughs> and, and he set his house on fire. Yo, he he was, set his own house. Was, on this fire. was literally like last year because I when I got with my girlfriend, uh, one of the first things that she did for me for my birthday, like she bought me fucking Kendall Corpse tickets. They were just out here in Des Moines a couple years back in November, and it was literally right after that show. I don't even know if they were done with that league of the tour yet. And I don't think they were. The news just like hit, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah, they found him for like, with like flamethrowers and shit like oh, that. that's not mine. Yeah, I know. He like, had hell of shit. Military and he had like actual throwers, human like... skulls and spines. <laughs> yeah, and, like, oh, full skeletons well, I mean, What else would you expect from the guitar player for the band Kettle Corpse? I, I think he... They're fucking... I guess I can't say much because their singer, George Corpse Grinder, is like probably one of the coolest, most down-to-earth people. Like, what? what the fuck is a Corpse Grinder? That's Somebody who fucks follow. dead people, You guys ever Brian? seen um, Necrophilia uh, is not Guardians a crime. of the Galaxy? Necrophilia is very much a crime. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Grave, grave digging is a crime, but it's not against... <laughs> It is time. against the law to fuck a dead person. In Iowa? Nah, grave robbing is a crime, bro. I swear to God, if this I looked this shit up when I was like 16, I don't even... I'm going to be me. in a grave. It should tonight. be illegal to fuck a dead person. Fucking so dead. wait, okay, if my girlfriend died, and I decided I just wanted to fuck her until the police showed up, it wouldn't be illegal for them to walk in and see me fucking my dead girlfriend. I didn't say get caught. So it's illegal. <laughs> For the record, I would fuck my dead girlfriend. <laughs> what? Bro. No, I don't even want to go no further into this. I'm gonna jump into a song, and so we can we can um, smoke a cigarette and gather our thoughts, and then jump back into this. What um, the fuck? Make sure this this definitely. I mean, obviously, this is only the fucking second show. This is and nothing this, like the first show. This it trumps so the much first better. show. <laughs> this is. This, I don't you know if you guys tuned in last week. If not, go back check it out. It's out there on YouTube. It's out there on Facebook. We're sharing it around. It's on SoundCloud. <laughs> you know, but this. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, <laughs> shout out to dead bitches. They can't say no. Okay, um, I'm gonna jump into this song. Jump so into the song. Was trying to get stiff before she did. Check it out. This is wait hold something up. different. Hold up. Hold okay, up. what? One thing. All right, what up? Okay, my aunt Dana was a medical transcriptionist. Okay. Right. Okay, she had to type up reports about what happened to people when they went to the ER. Yeah. Right. Okay. This one time, this old dude went in there, and he was like 80 years old, and his wife made him put a paper clip in his dick. You ain't never done that? Of oh, course no, I have. No, uh-uh. But, no. But, right, no, look. it got rusty because it was in there for so long. No, and he just bro. didn't take it out. I'm over this story. Um, this is fucking something different for the show that we've ever had. It's not no hip-hop. This is some straight R&B uh, 90s <laughs> flavor is what it sounds like to me. So let's get into it. This is Flo with Last Night. Fucking dead bitch to this. No, stop trip, man. Just get into the song. <laughs> God damn. Last night I, I called you, baby Didn't answer Then I went crazy Cause I 
Last night, I like that shit. Like Loki, the more I listen to it, the more I like it. At first, I was kind of like, "Whoa, some R and B," because I never expected to get some R and B from, um, from from this shit. Yeah, I really didn't expect it. So that's cool. We appreciate you. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, love it. So we'll jump right back into topics because we have been. Fucking off for a little bit. So here's a debate for you guys that's going around on Twitter. Nom, nom. The Kool-Aid man. Okay, no. is, is it the jar or is he the liquid? Well, I've seen it be both ways. I've seen him be on the jar and I've seen him his face like move around with the liquid. So I, I don't know. That's true. I think I have seen commercial. Yeah, I've seen both. The Mandela effect right there. Wow. <laughs> I think when it was older, yeah, he was the jar, and now he might be the liquid. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's like, I don't know. I really can't, I don't know. I don't even know why I wrote that down, to be honest with you, because it's, 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 like, it's kind of like looking to the center of the hip-hop, the world may never know. Huh? 
Oh, like how many legs? Um, 82. 39. 39? Is yeah. that what it really is? I was just making up a number. <laughs> we can always Google that shit. <laughs> um, what time did Usher pull up? Usher? Yeah. What time? What time did he pull up? Um, it's drop time. So was it? Uh, yeah! Yeah, it is seven. Oh, my nine. God. Yeah. You are, like, the first person that has ever answered that correctly. I like that song. My girlfriend makes me listen to it all the fucking time, and I just... I don't want to shoot myself. On the local anyway. news. Local news. Um, so, uh, I guess this only matters really if you're from where we're from, but it's just kind of stupid. Um, they're building a $3.5 million playground downtown Davenport where it floods every single year. Okay, but, and this is what gets me. They just cut $4.7 million from school budgets. That's... Yeah, they did. Yeah. So they built a park with that money that they just saved. And that's because they because of what they say that it's going to incorporate a fucking anti-flood measure of some type. They're not. They ain't gonna do shit. That shit breaks every time they put one up. It fucking breaks. Yeah. They're doing us hell well, of a Speaking of that, I mean, uh, I don't know if you got them, but fucking Brandel online had made a meme and it was shared. Uh, it was a picture of the fucking Mario level, and there was like some underwater shit, and it said Davenport's like new fucking. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, That's they funny. they posted and played that shit on the news today, bro. Oh, uh, no way. Yo, I, That's I, I hilarious. Seen, I seen his name on the side of it and everything like that in the picture. I went to his page. I had like almost ninety shares at that point early this morning. Wow. So like, yeah, it was. That's pretty fucking wild. nuts, though. Yeah, it's pretty fucking stupid, if you ask me. I mean. I think it's how we're done. Because they, cause <clears throat> they, keep, they keep cutting funds to education. And, like, I'm directly affected by this because Olivia is a teacher. She's a school teacher. Mm-hmm. And she talks about it all the time, how they have no teachers. Nobody wants to be a teacher. Well, yeah, because, because they already get paid jack shit as it is. And that's, yeah. that's been no secret for fucking hell of years. And no, and not even that. Awesome. They're so overworked and there's so many kids and the parents don't give a fuck. Literally, there's, uh, like, out of ten kids, maybe one parent is actually active and answers calls and goes to meetings and shit. Oh, I believe it. And that, and and there's so many kids that, like, you can just, it, it's ridiculous. And they're cutting funds to a place where some of these kids get meals. They don't get meals at home. So maybe they go to school and they eat and shit in the school. Uh, my grandma said the school lunch program just got cut, too. Well, yeah. shit, that just plays into the, yeah, I was going to say one of my topics, too, speak locally. Like, I've seen, it was like maybe, it might be a couple weeks old by now, but, like, some kids took up a GoFundMe to fucking clear, was it, the, the school district's, mm-hmm. like, debt for, like, the free lunches. Wow. So that way they can actually give kids some food. Fuck yeah. Yeah, like... That's it's dope. just wild, though. Like, it's no the kids should ever system. have to no, like, you should have to take, care, take that task on. I mean, no. like, dude, that's, that's, that's outrageous. I mean, it's that's, a parent's responsibility to make sure your kid is fed and shit, but at the same but time, if they school, don't have that, you can't, yeah. But see, like, you know, we're sending our kids to public school under the assumption that they're there to provide a certain level of not only education, but, like, how are they supposed know, to do that? A safe environment, and, like, like it's, you know, in a meal throughout the day, I guess, but my kids are young, you know, they're... I, I guess it's it's really no different, but like I don't know. I, I don't. That's just fucky. <laughs> Whole thing's fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Whole entire thing's fucked up. Take the money away from where like it really should matter the most. Really though, I remember yeah, growing up like it was, well, oh they're, they're they're taking so much money from like this extracurricular activity or they're cutting the band program or they're taking this away. I think they're doing it because people who are less educated or dumb uh, tend to follow more easily. <laughs> people it. who are educated and have uh, some sort of uh, knowledge other than just the basics, like like we were taught in school. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's all fucked up. They're messing up. That's, that's more conspiracy shit, though. Because like, eventually our generation's going to die, and, they, and like ultimately they control what happens with that school system yeah. and, yes. and yeah. the people growing up. Because what, uh, what if these kids are fucked up? Okay, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of child abuse going on. 
it, it, just everywhere in general. These kids are going to grow up, and they're just, it's all just going to keep happening, and then people are going to get dumber. It's going to turn into idiocracy. Bro, that movie, I was... This I've heard that so many times, and I really like... I, I think I believe that, but if, yeah. if that is where we're going... America's maybe not to the extreme, down, but... Man. Not to the extreme, but, but I yeah. think that's where it's headed. Yeah. It's already extreme. It is pretty... Yeah. There are a lot of stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, it's already true. extreme. It's... I might even be stupid. Probably. Yeah. I'm sure we all are to like somebody else's standard. I don't. I don't believe in people being stupid. I mean, I, I truly don't. I don't really care for fucking. I don't. I think. I think that um, if you, that anybody, even if you may be dumb about things. You can still be conscious enough to know that if I take on this task, I am able to do this job. Well, not only I am able to do this, or I am able to act my way. If you put go to a party, it's the same thing for like a rape or something. If you go to a party, bro, you're not there to fucking touch on some girl and fucking try to get her to go home with you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to it to be respectful type shit. Right. But... Damn, I'm high. I just forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. Next topic. Trip, give me something. Um. You don't have nothing? <laughs> no, I'm just high. Hold on. I'm high. Give me a second. 20 seconds. All right. SRH Fest is going on this weekend. Hey, hey. If you are in, I believe... Tampa, Arizona tonight. So by the time this airs, it'll be. But there, I think they're in Vegas too. A couple of shows: uh, Cottonmouth Kings, um, Head P, Mad Child, Whitney Payton, I believe. Um, I'm sure I'm missing people. Oh, Big B. Um, so yeah, check that out if you're in the area. Back to trip. Also in May, uh, if you're in the uh, Tennessee area, Memphis in May is coming. What's hey, that? hey, Memphis in May, it's a big, big ass, ass festival, festival dog. It's huge. And there's going to be so many bands. Deftones is going to be there this year. That's On cool. Point is going to be there this year. I remember. Um, that was like my very first hip hop show. Who well, else? Genuine's going to fucking be there. What was? Memphis in May. Who'd you see? A bro. Like, it was like the whole HCP camp. Who? Like, Hypnotize oh. Camp or Hypnotize. What was it? H- HCP, right? Hypnotized yep. minds. Yeah, all of them. Like, fuck, dude. Muck Sticky, Will White. Oh, Muck Sticky's gonna be there again. Oh, motherfucker. Who else? I don't like be? that dude. This I don't like him else, but, but I'll tell you what, like, though. He puts in some work. No, I know, and he definitely like well. I just don't For like his. He's just like a goofy guy to me. He it's really hip hop is serious to me. Personally, I feel like he fucked up his own, like. Shit, like obviously I can't say that somebody fucked up their own career by moves that they're making because obviously I ain't nobody myself. What did but, he do? Well, I feel like he was, you know, like shit. He was in and out of Hollywood, you know, going and. Has he ever had like radio play and shit and like? I, I, um, I remember I've heard him on the radio down south when I lived down there on some like local shits, but. Oh, okay. You know, I wasn't too far from Memphis. Huh. But like, I don't know shit about the dude. I just know I've heard him, and he's just kind of a goofy. He's a goofball. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just not. Yeah. But that's his gimmick too, you know. Like that's that's because uh, boys is real. Boring to me. Yeah, that yeah. too. That too. But I don't want to sit here and shit on him because no, I mean he's, he's doing make, more like, than he's anything. Like, he makes good like, music. Like, some of his music is good. I'm sure I'm there's talent there. People buy it. There's talent. But there. see, like, bro, utilizes his family. Like his mom sings and shit like that, and she'll be on tracks with him a lot. And his friends. Wow. And, like, he's, That's how you get no love in the hip-hop community. Yeah? Yeah, when mommy's riding with you. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine, bro. Imagine. I'm sure she's like, I don't know, she was an actress or some shit. Oh, uh, okay. Like well, maybe maybe at that point a, you might you like might be considered. Artist of some type of her own. But I don't give a fuck if my dad was Will Smith or my mom was fucking <laughs> Queen Latifah. Speaking of Will Smith, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny. Um, it works, it works. I was, I was rolling through some shit and I saw that shit. apparently uh, 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 the reason Will Smith is not cussing his rap music, yeah. he said, is his grandma. <laughs> Oh, after after all these years, he's 
be saying that's the reason why he doesn't curse in this music. Will Smith don't got a cuss in his. No. Will Smith ain't got a sell to cuss records. Well, I do. Yeah. Like, fuck him and fuck, fuck him. you too. Yeah. And fuck you too. Not really. We love you. You know what? I think Will Smith is great, but I think he's overhyped in my opinion. Like, not all music his, wise. No, nah, just like his music isn't all that great. His no, movies it's not. aren't all that great. Like, he's put out some good movies, but for me, it's just like, eh. It's a different genre thing. I guess so. You know, I, like so. I don't really era. watch anything but comedy movies, and his comedy movies are good. Not but his other genre. Shit, so. I guess I meant era. You know, like, he was more, I feel like he was more 90s. But like I like the 90s shit. Yeah. I like okay. the 90s shit. I'll give you that. But I don't like the newer shit. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'll get you. Yeah, you it. It. <laughs> Look, that, I had that CD, bro. That CD. That's a good CD. That CD sucked. <laughs> but it had it had that song on it, and yeah. when I like first found out about rap and shit, I had that CD, and I would play that shit and think it was cool because I was like, I was eight and years we're old. Back. <laughs> and Sorry, fucked up. You know that song was like hot at the moment. I was like, nah, 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 uh-huh. So quit making some Men in Black movies or He ain't even in the new one. No. no that's what I heard. I stopped watching after. Like, Do you know that Tommy Oprah. Lee Jones was originally going to be Indiana Jones? And I think that would have been fucking stupid. I'd have bought it. The... Hell no. It's Tommy okay, Lee Jones. Okay, first of all, let me say I've never seen an Indiana Jones movie ever. You're... I've seen like the beginning that of one sucks. of them and I turned it off. Five I'm minutes sorry later. that you are so sad. <laughs> Um, I'm not sad. Oh, you're, you're I'm sad. I'm not sad. Indiana Jones like just Indiana isn't my type of... That's not mine. Crack a whip in it's your not face. my bag. Right in your butthole. What? Right in the butthole. Nah, dog. Okay. Um, anyway. Trip. Next topic. Bad idea. Okay. Um, don't point me out like that. Bust it. Uh, Juggalo Weekend. <laughs> Weekends for Juggalos. Oh, fucking A. Drama in the underground um, community. So, a little background. Um, the gathering, not the gathering, but Juggalo Weekend happened in L.A. Yeah. Um, after one of the shows, there was a fight. It looked like on a fucking sidewalk or in the parking lot or something. Um, and it was... A click called 17 Dead with Ace Tone, and I don't know who the fuck else is in it, versus uh, some people from LSP, Lyrical Snuff Productions. And, uh, yeah, it was, it, it, it was, a, it was a, first of all, shitty fight. Fuck that shit. If has everybody seen the footage, have you seen the footage of it? No. No, it's like the weakest shit. Like, but, he throws like, the weakest I, yeah, punch, and then the fat man falls over. <laughs> it was it, it was like one dude cleaning a house with like a group of people really. But see, like I didn't think I, he was really cleaning the house. I think those dudes were just like fat, old, and out of shape, and like they <laughs> lost their balance when they got hit. It wasn't well, like one, he knocked them. The one, the guy one literally dude literally did, yeah. Cause he well, and then he over. tried. One dude tried to go after him, and he fell. Like, dude, it was okay. But anyway, I'm not here to trash the fight because I don't want beef with. Yeah. Um, really well, bad. actually, don't let me say I don't want beef with anybody because I don't give a fuck. But. I'm not trying to have that type of heat on this show. Yeah. But, okay, so LSP put out um, the a statement oh, okay. basically saying that they talked to their people and um, the deal behind the fight was uh, so some of their people were ta- – or one of their dudes were talking to Ace Tone trying to resolve a uh, previous beef that they had had. And um, – one of his buddies, one of their buddies came up to make sure that everything was cool because they knew that there was prior beef to everything. Like, not on no fighting shit, but just to, I'm going to stand by my homie and make sure he's good. Yeah. So then somebody from the other clan, clan, <laughs> the, other, <laughs> the other side uh, came over and, Cruise. uh yeah, and um, on the same shit. But when he came over, it was kind of more like he was on some fighting shit. Yeah. Because you saw, well, see, that's exactly what I was going to say, is i seen that Acetone had, uh, was it Acetone Boogie, right? Ace Tone. Oh, was it Ace Tone? Ace Tone. Oh, okay. I've never, I don't think it's Acetone. Oh. 
I've never heard nobody say it like that, but I also don't know the guy or ever heard his name that's spoke. Just, I just see it on the internet. The way it's spelled, I guess, to me. It's one of those underground as fuck, underground AF things again. I don't yeah. know how it goes. Well, like, i seen something about that. Like, he walked and talked to somebody, talked about, like, because he was friends with the person, and, like, they were saying that he didn't want to fight and had no problems, and then that was it. People started walking up, but other people saw people walking up. That's exactly what Yeah, it, it just escalated like. way too fast. But see, also on the video, obviously, you know, it doesn't show the entire escalation of everything. No, it just shows when the first punch was thrown. Yeah, I see that shit too, you know, like people just see people walking up and then people pulling out their phones. But there was more footage. It's like pulled. universal fucking signage for like fight nowadays. Well, know? they they uh they found, so Ace Torrent's wife uh, posted on her Facebook, I guess, another video of the fight. Oh, shit. And uh, Ace Tone kicked somebody in the face when they were down and then walked away talking shit like he was hot. He uh, actually commented on that today. I seen him made a big old post. He was like, yeah, did I do it? And he was like, yeah, was it a shitty move? <laughs> You know, like he went, he kind of talked about that a little bit too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't have Ace Tone because he's... I can't, okay, so I can't stand those, like, uh, those meme guys, the guys that are all about making the memes and everything's a fucking joke to them, and, oh, a rapper dies and it's the funniest thing in the world, or mm, a tragedy yeah. happens, little kids die, and they're like, ha, 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 I killed them too, blah, 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 let's make a meme out of it, like, and I don't know if Ace Stone makes memes, but that's just the type of people I see generally fucking with him, Yeah. and that is the lamest shit in the world, just my opinion. No, I feel that. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't really know. But a lot of... LSP said nobody move on it. Yeah. Nobody do a fucking thing because their people aren't really that mad because nobody's actually hurt. Um, nobody's left with any type of like. Not even not being like, there and knowing anybody personally or understanding what the fuck is even going on. It kind of looked like one of those things that just like should have got taken out of context, especially. And that happens in shows all the time. Yeah. Trip's seen it. I've seen yeah. it. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. I see Tio go at somebody one time. That was funny. Why was it funny? Why was, Why it, was funny? it funny? It was funny because, um, one, I had never thought that I would see you, like, snap off. I didn't think you would be that type of dude. Usually the guy, the guys that I kick it with, uh, you know, Jay, uh, Trip, like, these guys aren't for fighting. Like, they'll fight <laughs> if they have to. But they, y'all, I mean, I don't, I've never seen either one of them fight. But they've seen me fight. One time it was because Trip was about to get into a fight. <laughs> yeah, Brian just kind of took over. He came out like a blue flash. I do that. And fucking knock, dude. If you don't do something, I will. If I feel like it's about to go. No, it's okay. I'm not going to sit here and brag and boast and shit about fighting. Everybody will beat my ass. Ooh. Yeah, that shit was... <laughs> that shit was, uh... Pretty wild that night, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, definitely made for some interesting days on the internet. Yeah, I've seen that all going around for, like, the past few days and everything like that. Maybe a few more, and it just... I don't know. I don't... I, I grew up going to concerts. I love concerts. I love going to shows and shit, but that's the kind of shit that... That's why I don't like going, you know, out of my element, because... Man. What's your element? Hmm? What's your element? Like you said, you don't want to go out of your element. What's your element? I don't know. Like, I just have... I feel like my... My anxiety gets in the way of me just going to places that I've never been. Like, I'll go places. I just... Like... I don't know. I feel like I pick up on the vibey type shit that's what I'm talking about like if I just feel an odd vibe like if I'm out somewhere that I haven't really frequented yeah you know what I mean like it even comes down to shit bars even like if I don't go here I feel odd it's weird as fuck if I come that's how I feel like at a new at a show like when we go to a new venue that I've never performed at weird as fuck I don't have no anxiety about hitting a state no anxiety about performing or anything like that but man I'd, I'd be like looking over my shoulder the whole time but up until it happens because yeah I get nervous it's just um I once I once read that Eminem said if you if he didn't get nervous at the shows like right before he went on stage then there it wouldn't be no fun for him yeah 
the scene I've seen is like up until I hit that stage, like once I hit the stage. Once I get on the stage, stage, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it all goes away. Yeah, I could probably be but I can it, come back my off music and on I, and I, I can come back off and if I don't leave like it's right back to the way it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as soon as I like my foot goes off that stage. Instant anxiety. I don't give a fuck if everybody's walking up to me like, oh, you're the shit. I might feel a little good about myself, but still my heart's like, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fuck, get away Fucking from me. Fucking North Korea, man. They, they found one person with coronavirus and they killed that motherfucker. Fuck yeah. Know. No, I'm just playing. That's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. I mean, don't let it spread, but. That's insane. That's in- intense. Like, Yeah. We kind of talked about that briefly on the cigarette break, and Trip ain't saying nothing now, but when we were outside, he was definitely all like, fuck yeah, shoot that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. for real, shoot him. So, uh, right in the face. <laughs> Why not? What if it was I your, mean, because, okay. What if it was your kid, like, they got sick, now they got a bullet in their fucking forehead because they got sick. We walked the bam, I guess nobody else getting sick. Wow. What? <laughs> not really. I mean, if it actually happened, I'm flipping so the fuck out. If it actually happened, I'm probably going to flip the fuck out. But. Trip's going to cry. I, uh, of course I would cry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Troy's out there. He's sick. No, but, Blam, okay, right first face. of all, let's not pinpoint it to kids because I don't, I don't like that. Okay. But. but child. I, mean, no, yeah, I don't, I'm know, not I don't saying, know that it was a child and it was an I'm, adult. Right, right. I don't know. North Korea is really good at about, like. <laughs> Keeping certain key points of fucking information within the country, so like, look, all we really, can hope for is that that guy was a fucking prick and he deserved it. I mean, I would only hope that it was like a fucking child molester. <laughs> <laughs> you hope for child molestation? No, I mean the person that got sick. You know, so I that would actually deserve it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, I get it, but yeah. How do you even like get it? How do you be the only person in the country to have it? Fuck if I know. Like, that shit had to come from See, somewhere. they said there could be more than that because they said, like, the one confirmed case. You know? Yeah. So, like, at the time, and this was just, like, within, like, the last four, 24 to 48 hours, I believe. I might be wrong on that, but at least That's within crazy. the past couple of days. They shot him in the dead. Shut up, Tim. <laughs> he bled yeah, out, and it led to five more cases. Shot into the dick. Shot him straight to the balls. Uh, uh, church in Cincinnati, Ohio, um, wiped $46.5 million in debt away from 45,000 people. Crossroads Church. The fuck did they Crossroads yeah. Church? Yeah, all medical debt. Oh, well, that's fresh. They raised the money and then they uh, they cleared a bunch of people, forty five thousand people's medical debt. Like, like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, they uh, that's great. Well, across like four states. Oh wow. Yeah, with a company, it's uh, Crossroads Church. Um, they worked with a company, called, a nonprofit organization called uh, RIP Medical Debt. Oh shit. Yeah, um, and not that I'm a churchy guy or anything, but I thought that, that was pretty fucking sweet. Yeah. Um, thank you to those people or yeah, that person I that I always orchestrated that. I remember I was growing yeah, up here. Real. Oh, medical bills don't mm-hmm. really count on your fucking credit report. Yeah, but they sure affect that fucking debt amount. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I mean, to a certain extent. That's almost, almost that, like, that shit's there. Like, when you die, oh, bro, that there. shit's there. It's there. It ain't going nowhere. Well, but it ain't going to affect your credit. You no. can still get a loan. That shit don't fucking matter because I don't pay none of my medical debt. Debt is debt. When I die, my kids are going to have to take care of that. Yeah, exactly. Sorry and shit, bro. Yeah. I'm, Sorry and shit, By the bro. time I die, I'll make cool. sure that I like, leave them enough money to take care see, of that. See, that's it right there. Like, I guess it really depends on how you look at it because if it was me, like, I'd be like, oh, that's fucking cool. Now my kids don't have to worry about that. Now, you know, like, say I have some money I want to leave them. Now that, now that I fucking died, now they're gonna have to use that money to pay off my shit. You know, so I guess that's that's really fucking cool. All right, we're gonna jump into some music. Metal, fucking. Um, no, there's no metal on the show yet. If you make rock music, uh, any type, metal, black metal. Gay metal. I don't know what kind of metal is. Like is there's probably a gay metal, bro? There's a gay like hip hop community. You ever heard of bro job? Bro job? No. Okay, what yeah. the fuck? No. 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 I don't want it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna jump into some music. Uh, this is. This is bro job. Wicked low. Speak the word. And you can lose your soul to this. And you can lose your life to this. It's a never end of fight to this. To this. So I had to put the price in this Yeah, you can lose your life in this It's a never end of fight in this Spiritual 
you can use your soul to this Yeah, you can use your life to this It's never end of fight to this Hear this Somebody pay the price in this Yeah, you can use your life for this I said you can use your life for this In this The good still die, young nigga We still pulling guns on the brothers, nigga Cops still gon' shoot us, nigga Hands up, hands down, cause we still niggas Fuck praying for forgiveness on a deathbed I pray that God can forgive us, cause we got ahead Why wait till we dead, nigga, enough said James now, why wait for the bloodshed This is war, gentlemen, a riddle, nigga Said we said we march right, left Fighting for our lives, I ain't trying to see death again We fighting for our souls, our women, women and children Gotta win this, but this war's ending Fighting for eternity, it's hard to even see this Hard to believe this, gotta scream at Jesus Grown man curled up, looking like a fetus This is not a game, soldier, I know you see See this, every day my control nigga Got your little homie ready to roll nigga Twitch sides talking they don't even know the gender Fix sides, fix nose, fix the body agenda Keep us all locked up, mentally nigga Mind number boo two, negative nigga False images, we falling in percentages You dropping life flies to the lines and they got a center And you can lose your soul to this And you can lose your life in this It's a never end of fight to this To this so many the price in this Yeah, you can lose your life in this It's a never end of fight in this You can lose your soul in this Yeah, you can lose your life in this It's a never end of fight to this In this So many the price in this Yeah, you can lose your life in this I said you can lose your life in this In this the balance is more than what they say it is. And being suicidal is a final and it's up for this. Man, it depressing. They just want to give us pussy shit. We losing all our soldiers in a hurry. They don't give a shit. Nah. On the TV, it's nothing but violence. Same sex images till we ride with it. They drill it in our heads every day until we born with it. We born with a choice, but they try to do away with it. It's worse than the chip, worse than the pop code. Racism, plagiarism, plagiarism, it's a plagiarism. What we got to think we pussy if we speak peace. What we can't show love, gotta hate each. And every one of us gotta make fun of us. We kill each other anyway, so they ain't gotta do it. Us. It ain't them, man, it's us killing us And this is the world we live in and our country still shitting on us Every day my control, nigga Got your little homie ready to roll, nigga Twitch sides talking, they don't even know the gender Fix sides, fix nose, fix the body agenda Keep us all locked up, mentally, nigga Mind number boo boo, negative, nigga False images, we falling in percentages We dropping like flies and the lies and they got us And you can lose your soul to this yeah, And you can lose your life to this It's a never end of fight to this so many put the price in this Yeah, you can lose your life in this It's a never end of fight in this You can lose your soul in this Yeah, you can lose your life in this It's a never end of fight in this In this So many put the price in this Yeah, you can lose your life in this I said you can lose your life in this In this
welcome back to the old show. That was Extra Overdose with What The Deal. He is the artist of the motherfucking week. Yeah. So, uh, what's, uh... I like that shit, man. Like... Extra Overdose is cool. I've dope. mixed a few songs for him. He's uh, like rapped it. on a few of my beats. Yeah, he seems Good like dude. a real cool dude. Like, yeah, really. He seems quite things. busy, and he's busy lately too. Like, he's oh, he's been busy. Right it's now. like he popped onto the scene out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, and then just kind of like took over. I've never heard of him, and like, granted, like, like I said last week, you know, growing up, I was a fucking metalhead my whole life, still am, you know. So like, even though I am a, a rapper and shit, and I write and perform, but like, I don't. There's still a whole lot that I don't know. Yeah. You know, especially in the underground scene, like, and I'm, and I'm learning, but, like, yeah, I'd never heard of this guy, and then all of a sudden, like, boom, there the fuck he is, and he's everywhere. Yeah. And I was like, yo, that's dope. No shit. I fuck with it. Yeah, hey, I fuck with it, too. He's, and he's cool as fuck, too. It's got some cool visuals, too, man, so if you're out there, get out there on YouTube and check that shit out. Extra Overdose, yo. Yeah, Sounds of Extra Overdose, look him out up everywhere. Um, he's on tour right now, or about to go on tour. He's about to go on tour with Michelangelo Scarrow. Yeah. Um, the Devil Made Me Do It tour, and I think they're still booking dates. So, if you're trying to fuck with bringing that heat to your town, hit him up on Facebook or find the email or whatever it may be. Um, sounds of XO dot com. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Jump into some more topics. Trip's been quiet. I have been. You have been. I really have been. What's up? You yeah. feeling some type of way? No, I'm just really hot. He's sad. I am very man. sad. You know, I had a very hard life. And I just found out, I don't know if it's true or not, but there is a rumor that's been going around, and I guess it's been going around for a while. I, I just figured it out, though, that Violent J might be bisexual or might be gay. And the only reason I say that is because there's been two or three different times, two or three different people that have witnesses that said he has offered to suck their dicks when he was fucked up. And one guy, he was trying to get Xanax off him and trying to suck his dick so he could get some Xanax. And God wasn't going. And he busted him out. I don't know if it's true or not. But I can see Violent J being gay. Like, secretly gay. Yeah. Like, not even hating. Yeah. Not even hate. I don't. But just like, what the fuck? I, I never expected it. I, I, but I could see it because he always talks about dicks. And he always jokes about say. dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to like process this like with, with the combat. And I have nothing. With, okay, so I don't really believe that he's bisexual, so to speak. Um, I don't. I don't believe any of that because. Um, that just I wouldn't mean, make sense. But say, he does have a drug problem or yeah. has had a drug problem in the past. So I believe that maybe at the time when ICP was low and not making much money, that he might have sucked a dick for some uh, uh, script. Suck some Shit. dick for fame. I bet he... For Fago. Fly sucking dick for Fago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's gravy. You ever seen that uh, <laughs> that part in Half Baked where the dude's like, where he's like, I'm addicted to marijuana, and the and, uh, dude pops up and he's like, Have you ever sucked dick for weed? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like, you in here with some marijuana? <laughs> it was Bob <Bio> Jay. <laughs> yeah. No, it was Bob Saget. It was Bob Saget. Bob Saget sucked Shut dick. Up. But that might be Violent Jay's dad. No, Violent Jay is Tripp's dad. Violent Jay is my father. If you put on Violent J paint right now, I, I swear bet. to God. Nah, fuck you. I don't look, look like, like Joseph Violent. Bruce. Nah, that motherfucker's ugly as shit. But if you put on the paint, <laughs> if you put on the paint, bro. No, don't tell me that. If you put on the paint, you I look don't like even Joe like Bruce. dogs. That's Stop it. The area in disguise. Um, no, and I would have believed that, but the forehead difference is. <laughs> you ever seen Joe <laughs> without paint, bro? His yeah. forehead is like dumb big. Yeah, it is. Like he's got a good six inches up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's some funny shit though because You're one to talk about big head, Brian I know, but <laughs> You ain't got a six inch forehead Exactly, Mr. bro Mr. Seven and fucking three quarter inch fucking fitted hat That's because of my hair though Like since my hair That is not longer. because of you Yes, no, my hat size went up a whole size Because of but my uh, I noticed Because of the hair, yeah I noticed Yeah We were rocking the same size Then I seen the stickers oh, yeah. on your hats got bigger I'm like, what the fuck Oh, God can't wear that shit with the braids. Yeah, sure. Not that I really braid my hair that often, but 
Yeah, let's not. Don't talk about me though. Like, <laughs> what I've been doing because we don't want to give out too much information. A B. See these nuts. See these nuts. nuts. <laughs> Look, that shit's yeah. gay, bro. That we were sitting in the studio hilarious. one time. We were back at the trap spot, <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm about to record a song or some shit. And what was this? This dude Mook that we was kicking it with was like A B, and I'm hella focused. And I'm like, what? And he's like, see these nuts. And <laughs> everybody started laughing, and. I was in the middle of a studio session with somebody, and it was, it was me. embarrassing. I was there. No, we were about to. Uh, you they, were gonna they record paid me Corey a grand. because he gave us a dime bag. No, he gave me a dime bag to record that. Uh, that that death dude, kid. the red yeah. light, the red light. Got yeah, it. hold up with the red light, the red, red light. light. But yeah. he was deaf, so it just sounded like red light. <laughs> it cut out. It cut out. So they missed like half that. But um, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Um, oh, I had a topic. Candyman, Candyman, Jordan Peele's Candyman. Yeah. Come out, trailer fucking drops. So like, we like horror movies <laughs> like that. Dude, they got the original Candyman. Tony Todd's gonna be in that bitch. That's gonna be cool. It, it looks really good. I didn't it's, know that. They're saying, Thank you for telling me that. Yep, yeah, they're saying that it's supposed to be one of the most anticipated horror movies of the year. So like, Sweet. check that out. Shit was pretty cool when I was growing up. I remember. And, and fun fact I've seen today that in his contract for that movie, um, for every fucking time he got stung by a bee, he got like $1,000 and he got stung like 23 times. Fuck yeah! Yeah. I want to make money getting stung by... No, I so, don't. So, I mean, like... If it was... If it pretty, was I, it's got to be like two grand per bee. I've never been stung by intense. bees. You've never been stung by a bee? No. Oh, let's go it's get kinda a gotta be. That's kind of shitty, though, to be honest. Um, <laughs> and never be stung by a bee. <laughs> well, I mean, think about this because now you're gonna live the rest of your life wondering if you're allergic or not. Are you gonna die if you do get stung by a fucking bee? Hell like, yeah! So how long do you have to fucking live? Twenty years. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I guess you got a point. Um, so that's why they so say get a that's bee why they and say sting nowadays, yourself. That's kind of why they say nowadays with like kids and fucking foods, give your kids like allergy foods sooner than they've ever said before because the sooner you expose them to that shit, the that's less likely they yeah. are to develop those fucking allergies. So and have a problem with it later on in life. Point of story: get a bee and sting your baby. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> Oh no, guys! That's what we do. Um, uh, at the O show. The bring your kids, man. I got this <laughs> next thing. I just want to bring up real quick. It, it's kind of fucked up. Like, like so anything else in the show. There was a 72 year old man named Shep Arnold. Shep Arnold. I wish that was my name. Shep. Was <laughs> my name is Shep. That was arrested. Okay, first off, like. This man's had, like, a shopper store that he's ran for fucking years. And, How many years? Um, this guy was arrested for selling dehydrated fucking human meat that he was selling as beef jerky. That's at his general store called Shep's Goods. That oh, cut. Okay, so what's wild about it is how he got caught. So... Apparently, you know, people come in and a lot of people buy this fucking jerky because it's just so good, which... I've heard through the grapevine. Have you, you eaten know. it? Did uh, you eat it? Anyway. No, you ate it. An executive for good. Jack Link's beef jerky had stopped into this man's store, and they wanted to buy some of the shit. They took it. They tried it. They tested it. They wanted to see if there's anything maybe they could do to help improve it, help this man take this shit to the next fucking level, basically, from what I understand. Well, test results. Come back basically to find out that the jerky was so special that it wasn't even made of fucking cow. It was made out of human meat. Holy so, shit! Yeah, they arrested that guy. Big Who was time. he killing? I don't know if he was killing people. I don't, you know, like I didn't see a whole bunch more on it yet. I just seen this shit like metal. yesterday. Seventy-two years old. I mean, that's like. What if he thought the whole time that it was like cow's meat? What if he and was? What if he was, was purchasing his meat from somebody <laughs> else? That yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he was like getting it from a guy that was maybe part of the mob or something. What if they called him jerky? A deer guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's yeah. some venison, bro. Like <laughs> that has this cow jerky. There was a serial killer I remember <laughs> growing up that um, used like he was arrested for fucking using human meat for for his like hamburgers and shit. This shit's this is wild, man. Moral story, get your kids, go to that place, see if they're allergic to human meat. 
<laughs> no. no. I'm taking my kids tomorrow. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, shit. Um... No. <laughs> just, you're the one I'd who talks about eating brains I'd all the time. I'd rather take them to Dunkin' Donuts because they just actually dropped a brand new fucking food item, man. They took, you get like some fucking, it's like candied bacon. That, that sounds time. fire. It's like eight strips of like naturally smoked bacon that they cut in half. So, and then they cover it with like sugar and shit like that. That's what Americans need. Did you know for a Yeah, right? Because America runs on fat. I would literally <laughs> put that on my burger, bro. Bacon? Candy bacon? Candy bacon. Oh, He's no, like, I mean, yeah. it's, it's real. Dead like, ass. It's very real. But with it a, looks... With a egg. Oh, man. And hella cheese. It looks like it'd be really sweet. Man, I got the munchies now. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I've been hungry. I ain't had dinner yet. Yeah, me either. Um, Big huge. So, I like doing this show. Me I too. this is pretty cool. <sighs> um... Fun. One of the reasons why we're here is because we love music, right? That's right. Okay. So, I figure this would be a good topic because since we all love music and obviously people are going to listen in because they want to hear music and maybe our bullshit. I'd probably just skip through this if I was most people like... Probably. You know what I'm saying? Like, hmm, where's the the song that I'm looking for? But if you listen, but if you listen, we're hella retarded and it'll make you laugh. Motherfucker. Yeah. Um, but I just want to like, in your opinion, the state, the state of music. Um, how do you guys think it is? Or what? I think that uh, I think right now at least, honestly, it's with most music. They're uh, they're coming out with uh, quantity over quality. Just a lot of shit. Oh. They got like three good songs on it, but that CD has so many songs, and then they just keep coming out with more and more buttholes. So quantity over quality yeah. is what you think is the problem. But if you keep if you look deep, there's still artists out there that do dedicate to the music and make a unique sound. There's not a lot. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, Here's a song. Yeah, so we're fucking up a little bit. We're fucking gonna let this up. Com- computer chill. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into a track. Wiggity wiggity wiggity. Wide. Life is fucked. I'm. A- we're gonna get into punch a Delta manual. B O B. Woo. Stay in the mother. <laughs> the old show. The show. Wishing a mixing of my prescription and wishing upon tomorrow Cause I can tell fact from fiction You see the friction, I'm hoping I'm your addiction The remorse is setting in and I can tell that you'll be bitching Yo, fatal switching, you see and follow tradition You fall in a certain line where things are used to contradict it If my predictions are visions and you can hold for a minute Then my belief is a given, we found a new division I'd rather stick to the mission, I need a pen, paper, kiss And I'll fix a hole in the living and give them newly written I newly read with the Bible doubts if you carry the title I need a ring for the fire I rap my only bridle You pay the fast of the cycle I need a bed for the night Though a little mad little cycle We found the only tribal A trivia with a snitching A bitch and lose my religion I feel we lost little bitches Messages with paper pigeons Ding, they go to battle I'm moving faster to pedal You might need scraps as a metal You do this creepy pedal We might need shiny, no pump it Rowdy and loud like a trumpet Find that we hit it Say fuck it, my life is Trump shit You tad it's on, you fucks And I'm with the battle board I can battle more, you're born I'll leave you in the storm I switch it up, but imagine you wouldn't and have the luck if you've had enough Remember why you're my cluster fuck The way I'm brought up with loyalty in the dose of slaughter Mixed with common knowledge could possibly be from all this drama You boys are caught up, you laid on your work, you fought for scholars I can buy my signers with more art to lace you blood with knowledge I mean be honest, ironically I could be the parker Eat to beat the stalker with the side of Uncle Ben for starters My appetizer, you silly, your rap beside a fire Bitch, I could be lying, but you'll never know Everywhere I buy you
New end. Yeah. Delta. Down four. Yo, this fucking town, I got nothing to do with, so fuck it, let's ruin my future. With a hit of this movement, I'm sipping plus through manure. Now choose your vices, ice and tits, got my dick inside a vice grip. Lames, they talking shit, but they friends be repping my click. You either winning or losing, yo, I was drugging and abusing, but then I quit it and blew it up on this murderous music. And now I'm back and I'm on it and only bought in hypnotics. No pills or harmonics, soda and tonic. From days I was crazy, your way vain, to now my head's straight, I delegate. Your CK coming out the gate, I see you paved my way, respect my OGs. To do your thing as he tell him what you told me Whatever that you think of me, you probably right I'm a slacker and all I do is just waste my life I roll that ounce, smoke it down and just days off Treat every waking day like it's my day off Ain't to stay soft, I never let it bother me It feels me to be honestly cut up my like the bottom me I be in my zone when I'm dropping this Keep on trying, motherfucker, no stopping this This Izzy to titty nipple, the middle finger to wiggle, the clitoris pussy tickle, get giggles, I'm up and off it, puffin' something exotic, see lobotomy, neurotically problematic to prop it, hey we hide from blazing crazy break with marijuana blossom, it's common knowledge Izzy Dizzle, pretty fucking awesome, a warning and precaution, we steppin' heavily squashing from the bottom bumps tunnel to congratulations often, who tossed the rock skipping on top of the water ripple, whipping to cut you off as I merge it without a signal, Mr. Izzy DP. W pitiful times triple cut you off like a lobotomy. Yes, it's that simple. I'm waving at haters, standing as high as the sky. Scraper sky, Walker Darth Vader fighting laser light sabers over all its open time, and we win in the tie breaker. I'm a dirty plaguer using my questionable behavior, saying fuck your interview. I'm celebrating Chuck and Jaeger. Plus I'm breaking out some weed I keep inside a resin chamber. That's a game changer. Competition clearing present danger. Operation over Audi peace and see you later, neighbor. Good night. Whatever that you think of me, you probably right I'm a slacker and all I do is just waste my life I roll that ounce, smoke it down and just days off Treat every waking day like it's my day off Ain't to say soft, I never let it bother me It feels me to be honestly cut up my like lobotomy I be in my zone when I'm dropping this Keep on trying, motherfucker, no stopping this T.O. had to take off Triple set. Um, T.O. is a good man. And he can do whatever he wants to. Not really. Not really. No. No. But it's okay. I can pretend to be. You know? Yeah. Of... Um. So, um, T.O.'s gone. Coming to the end of the show. This motherfucking computer has been being retarded Yeah, we had some technical difficulties. Shit. Um, we were down for about, what would you say, 30 minutes? Yeah, 30, 25, 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, about 30 minutes. Like sitting at the fucking computer, just staring at it, trying to load this big yeah. dumbass file. So, um, we got all that taken care of now. Groovy. Groovy. I ain't got no more topics, really. We talked about just about everything oh, I didn't... that I seen. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we talked about all the topics that I've seen from this week that I found interesting, T.O. found interesting. Right. Um, in case y'all don't know, this is kind of just showing people. Um, if you haven't, if you want to hear something different 
and uh, something that kind of stands out, I really recommend checking out 12 Foot Ninja. But like I said, it's uh, very unique. It's very, it's different. It's like heavy metal, but at, at the same time, like in between when it's just heavy as shit, it's like, it go, uh, some songs are funk. Some sound like disco. Some sound, it's just all over the place, and diversity in it is really, it's kind of amazing how they put it all together and make it all sound good. I wish I could fucking show you guys. What are they called again? 12 Foot Ninja. All right, 12 Foot Ninja, if you're listening or ever listen, put your. Trip just put you on to the people. Woo! The first time is free. Next time you owe me some money, buddy. $10. Is it one person or a band? It's a... It's a band, yeah, it's right? Band. Okay, each of you owe me $10. Yup. At least. They do. They owe us money. If this gets over... Not really. 100 views. Oh, bullshit. They if I get over get 100 it. views for they this, then everybody owes me $100. I'm just saying, the first time's free. In the they first time's free. Hear this. The first time's free. First time's free. I'm not... Time. I'm not... You got your trip plugged, you? Dog, I can't wait to get a McChicken. <laughs> a McChicken, dog. <laughs> um, so... Nothing really to talk about. I thought um, of a topic this week that I didn't think was a good idea to go into. Um, I want to do it. But Trip just mentioned it. Fuck it. We talked earlier on the show about uh, how me and or Trip and I had met, whatever. Um, I tried to kill you. Yeah, you tried to kill me. I tried to impale you. Um, and then somehow through parents, marijuana, our, and parents. um, parents put us, made us kick it cause we weren't getting along. Trip introduced me to weed. It was great. We had a rap group. I don't even remember what it was called. It's one time we huffed gas. Yeah, we huffed gas too. Um, but <laughs> no, I'm not here to tell time. drug stories. No, I'm not here to tell drug that stories on time. this episode. On this episode, we will take care of, of our are, drug yeah. episodes no. on, on a different occasion. It'll be crazy. Um, <laughs> we had a group. Rap group together. We didn't really rap. All we did was it, like. What was it called? I think it was Toxic. Yes, it was Toxic because I was Bones and you were Suicide. Yeah. Remember, yeah. he tagged Suicide in my grandma's barn on the wall, and you said we could spray paint. Like. I know, and the, but <laughs> still, after you left, my grandma was like, "What is wrong with that kid?" <laughs> I was okay? hanging out with fucking potheads at 13 years old. And I was not mentally mean, ready to start smoking weed and mean, huffing gas and running around. No, we ain't going to get into that he story. He chased though. I can't, an imaginary chick. No, we ain't going to get into Thought that story right now. Okay, so... Suicide. Okay, so past that, yeah. um, we ended up going to different high schools. Yeah. Um, but in middle school. Yeah, in middle school, we kicked it hard. Um, after that, we went to separate high schools, blah, blah, blah. Uh, after we turned 18, I believe, we somehow, yeah, somehow ended up living like just a few blocks from each other. Yeah, it was, uh, I had put a freestyle video. I was oh, that's right. fucked all the way up. I put a freestyle video out on Facebook and, uh, Brian was like, holy shit, did you write that? And I was like, no, man, I just spit it. And he's like, you ever thought of being a rapper? I was like, I don't know. And he came over one night, and we rapped at each other. <laughs> yeah, we and, we uh, rapped. We kind of battled for a second. But we did. It was more just freestyle shit. That was when... Uh, that was weird. Yeah. We should have never done that. That was weird. <laughs> that's how the... <laughs> never mind. Um, but, yeah, then uh, that's when uh, we were working on... The fuck was it? We were. It wasn't Outsiders. It was no, Project uh, Infinity <sighs> Records. P-I-R. Yeah, we had, I had started that. Um, it was me, you, and Magic. Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. to Magic. Do you remember when me, you, and Cassie tried to do a remake to "I Just Want a Party"? Yeah. And it was "I Just Want Some Hardies." Yeah. <laughs> so okay, same time as that. Right around there, we recorded a song. What song was it? Oh, blame it on the weed. Was it? No, it wasn't blame it on the weed. Oh, it have been, um, them boys. Was it them boys? Them boys. Yeah, because yeah. okay, so uh, we 
We finally did a song together. I got a microphone. Um, we were finally making music together. That shit was hot. We didn't have a group name. We were just Trip, and I think I was still Be Heard at the time. Yeah. And uh, so we recorded or whatever, and I had this line in the song where I said, um, Strange no, to America. That's... Label us outsiders. That's be um, writer. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. Yeah, yeah, that's the song. I'm a writer. It was a remix to uh, yeah. Black and Yellow. Yeah. So yeah, I said the line "Strange to America." Label us outsiders, and it kind of just like instantly, as soon as I said it, it kind of just clicked. That's who we were. Like we were like, dude, that's the group name. Yep. Unintentionally, because I don't even think we were really like <laughs> trying to start a group. Or come up on a name or nothing. We were just I think we were just rapping to rap, yeah. and then we were like, bro, that's it. That's that's us. I'm sorry, I hit the hooker. <laughs> no. <laughs> if there's pounding in this or anything, it's usually the baby upstairs wrecking shit. We shot. brought a kid here to try to human me. No. no. Stop. Maybe. Um, but, so, what happened after that? I remember, shit. We kind of fell off for a little bit. Yeah, we really did. I like, think I moved back down to my dad's house. No, yeah, you no, and but you guys moved out to that trailer park, you and Jamie, and that's when we quit kicking it so much. That's when we recorded that song. Yeah, uh, I don't really know what you call me. Yeah, you can't even call me Holmes. That shit was hot, and we <laughs> didn't know how to mix. Trash. If we, if we could get. A whole, well, we could still do that. Yeah, it's that song's the dope, song dog. Murder She Wrote, right? Is it Murder She Wrote or what's it called? All She Wrote. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was... Okay, so we recorded that, and then we fall off because I, I moved. Yeah. Something along the lines of that. Did... Did I come... What no. Happened after? What about I went, I went, I, Look, so I went back to my mom's. Yeah. After that. Um, then... You somehow ended up living right down the street. Oh, yeah, because you lived on that one side of Heatherton by the gas station. I lived by the library. Yep. So yeah. you lived down there. We found out about it. I moved the studio into your house, um, and then we started recording. That's where we recorded Fuck Shit Up. We yep. recorded um, um, Stack It Large. Yep. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure more that I don't remember. But... Uh, then we ended up having a falling out over who knows what. Yeah, we got in a fight. Um, I don't remember. There was like a, there was a whole deal with the studio at that time too. Because mm-hmm. that computer one of us, was fucked. Because oh. yeah, well, I think one of us had like a computer and one of us had the microphone, but we got the computer from, um, I think from Ty. Yeah. Yeah, we got it from Ty, and then um. But we had, anyway, we had a falling out. Um, and then what happened after Heatherton? Um, Heatherton. Let's see. I moved to the east side of Davenport. Yeah. Um, and then we didn't kick it for a while. Well, I moved out to my dad's house there for a little bit. We didn't start fucking around again until Castlewood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it was like. Years. Well, okay. So, so in between that time on Heatherton, we met. Uh, at this time, outsiders was, me, Trip, my cousin Sam, um, J Rad, Relic, um, Relic Glow, whatever, um, and I think that was about it. Mm-hmm. And then we all kind of just fell off after Heatherton and shit. I moved out to my dad's house. And Outsiders then became this, like, huge, like, um, I don't even want to say gang, but, like. That's when we made that uh, dope hip-hop song. What was it? Um, what Will Take Your Life. With Remember J-Rad? That? Uh-uh. that was with J-Rad. No, no, it wasn't. Yeah, What Will Take Your Life is with J-Rad. No, it's not. Yeah, it's on um, First Day. That's, uh, What Will Take Your you know I'm right right now. <laughs> you are, but we made another song out in Dixon. Um, right. Okay, so so check it. So yeah. I move out to Dixon, <clears throat> Iowa, where my dad lives, kind of a country town. Ended up meeting all these kids through my brothers. And Outsiders then turns into this, like, like squad of people. There's, like, ten of us kicking it, drinking, smoking, whatever. <clears throat> um, through all that, 
I jumped in a fire. Um, well, that, um, that, yeah, right. So we started kicking it again. Um, and then Outsiders was back to me and you. <coughs> yeah. Um. It was just us at that time. And we made, um, it was a murder song, Mo Murder. Mo Murder. We made that. Vibes, though, yep. Uh, I remember we that. made Blackout. We made. We made. Um, <coughs> we made a lot of good music together. But we tried to do. I ended up doing my first video. Yep. Kill. Uh, kill myself. Kill myself. And I then we that. tried to do a video of the Mo murder. And it, we shot it the wrong way because we were shooting everything from a phone. And we, instead of holding the phone sideways, my brother held it straight up and down the whole time. Yeah. So it ended up being like this little square box. Um. So that never came out. I actually just found the footage to that not too long ago. Really? And finally disposed of it. Uh, <laughs> and it was pretty embarrassing. I bet. Um, oh. So what happens after that? Um, again, I think I just fell off from the world for a little while. I had kids and shit. Um, but <clears throat> we ended up somehow once again. We always just, okay, we get into fights and... I don't know. I feel Honestly, like I do that with everybody, though. I know, but, like, it's silly because we get mad at each other for, like, three, four months. There's been times where we're salty for years, but we always come back. Yeah, that's what family does, though. Family fights, and then they get back together. That's just, yeah. that's just what it is. Yeah. But, um, after, I guess after uh, we recorded all of that shit... Everything fell off. I, I moved back to Davenport. You still lived in Davenport, but we just weren't on whatever terms. I don't even think there was a reason. I think everybody just kind of quit fucking with each yeah. other there for a while. Yeah, it was weird. Um, and then one day you ran in to see me, and again, we ended up living right down the street from each other. Yep. So that's when you came over and kicked it. We recorded uh, Blame It on the Weed Part 2. Yep. Um, which was dope, dope. ass song. It was a good uh, song. There was more we recorded, but um, then by that time, I had, uh, I think, uh, TV was with us. Yep. Uh, Austin Haynes was with us, yep. and it was me and you, and that was Outsiders at the time. And then Austin left. Yep, he kind of wanted to do his own thing. Yep, um, and then TV just kind of fell off because he's, he's done that a bunch throughout the time. <coughs> um Relic and J Rat are gone at this point, so it's basically back to me and you. Yeah. Um, J Rat ends up coming back around. Yeah, that's when J Rat became part of. It was me, you, and J Rat at that point. Uh, when he came back, yeah, it was yeah. it was me, you, and him. That was after first day out. That, by the way, that album is on. Uh, what's it? It's Audio, Audio Mac. Mac. And uh, if you don't know, check that. He shit was with out. us before that though, because we did like uh, Devil's Night. Uh, was it three? Or two, Devil's Night two. Yeah, we did Devil's Night two before, yeah, before you're right. all that shit. You're so right. we were doing our music together for a little bit before that, and then but it was more like there was Crooked Concept, and then there was Outsiders, but we all kind of just worked together or whatever. And all that shit's on Audio Mac, so go download yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, definitely check it out. shit on Time as fuck. Bam. Um, let's see here. We recorded a bunch of dope shit. That's when um, we finally did our first show, like first major show, and we opened up At for Potluck. Potluck. And Potluck, uh, I mean, that, that really, was huge. That opened Dude. the door for us into, I would say, more of like the horrorcore community, like yeah. small community throughout here in like Wisconsin and shit, because we ended up having a little bit of a following. Mm -hmm. And um, this is when J Rab was getting more and more into it and shit. Yep. Then he was coming around more often. Yeah, and we fucking, we killed it for a little bit. We almost got, we almost signed with, like, CME or something. Yeah. Which I'm happy we never did yeah, because those too. guys were on some fuck shit. Yeah, for real. Um, but we but ended then, up getting it, we, we got signed as a group to, um, <coughs> yeah, and mind you, we're a group <coughs> this whole yeah. time. Like, there's no label. We're just outsiders. It's outsiders family, and this yep. is a bunch of us. So then we get signed to Infected Dead Records. Yeah, I remember that. Um, that's when we made Blood and Gore. That that's was when the, uh, the song that really that was like too. everybody's everybody's shit. They they couldn't believe that it was us. That's how like good it was. It was, good. Yeah. It was amazing. 
So we make Blood and Gore, the label we end up leaving with them. Um, I don't really know what happened. Differences. Is that what it was? Yeah. Well, honestly, what happened was he, remember, we said we need different beats. And he just started putting us on bullshit. And then we got into a fight and you stuck around with him. And, uh... I never did anything with him, though. You didn't? Nah, I, uh, we pieced out at the same time. Because I didn't get signed. Outsiders got signed. Because at this time, there was no, like, bad idea. Right. Like, there was bad idea, was but, outsiders. like, it was outsiders. Um, but, yeah, we ended up... I think I had an argument with somebody in the label. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, too. I got into it with somebody. What's new? Um, Fuck it. <laughs> so, anyway, from there, um, we kind of just did our own thing. Um, we recorded, lived down the street from each other, kicked it a bunch, whatever. Uh, again, falling out. <laughs> it was falling out, and it, it was a time happens. where it, and was, then, it was just me and J-Rad for a while because um, me and J-Rad did a bunch of shows. We went out to... Uh, that was when the baby mama shit went down. Yeah, the baby mamas didn't get along. Yep, that's what happened. So we kind of just separated the situation stupid. for a little while. Um... But then it was just me and J-Rad and Outsiders, and we kind of, uh, we just, we didn't let it stop, obviously. We went to Wisconsin and did a show. That was a good time. Um, Wish I could have been there. Yeah. Yeah, there's, we did, me and J-Rad did a lot of shit for a long time. Did a lot of shows, uh, opened up for um, Kung Fu Vampire. Uh, Me and you did Mayday at one time. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. No, we didn't get no love at that show. Hell no. Nah. Nobody gave us nah. shit. The only person... It was like... Even our crew, like, e- the only person that I've seen that even, like, briefly enjoyed any part of it was Gruesome, because we were on stage right when he walked in. Yeah. And he went and stood by our group of people unintentionally, and was just bobbing his head along to the music. And I was like, okay, so we aren't, we don't suck. This just isn't our crowd. Right. You know I mean? like, but that was cool to me because yeah. Gruesome's always been like that. Uh, cool. Yeah. I like, I fuck with Gruesome. But, uh, yeah, we kind of just off and on through the years. I mean, when we put out, uh, we put out, and then we put out Mental Case. That was right before, around that time of May Day. Right yeah. around the same time. Yep. Because I think May Day was in like April and we dropped in March or May. Yeah, something I think like you're that. right. Yeah. Um, then, then we did. After that, once we got back together again, uh, we did first day out, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. That's cause... when we started getting heavy into the dark. Yeah, um, that's when the Suicide the, Boys that came out. We were drinking yeah. a lot. We were oh my kicking God. it every weekend, partying, whatever. Not really partying. We were just me and Trip in the fucking kitchen. Fuck that clock. Um, and uh, we made First Day Out, Crooked Concept, put out um, As Crooked As They yeah. Get or As Crooked As They Come or whatever Shit. it is. That was a good era. Yeah. Like, um that was that was dope. We put out some good music in that time. I wasn't really as proud of myself in that time because I just don't think that I was. Uh, I didn't understand really the concept of what I was doing. Right. Like the whole trap thing, I didn't catch on to it. We're kind of just exploring into a new. Thing That's what we do, and, man. We uh, we do what we want. Ram with it a bit too hard. <laughs> so, um, not that it's bad music. So we signed, SOTW. Oh. Wicked Whitey. Yeah. Um. He was cool. Zagan. Yeah. Zagan TDK. Um. We had. Uh. Oh, we signed Relic. Yeah. Insane Relic at the time. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. We signed or had an agreement, I should say, because we didn't sign none of these people because we, at the time, Outsiders Inc. is what we were under, and we didn't do contracts. We just. Kind of homie to homie, we got your back, you got ours, yeah. type thing. There's one um, type deal. And we had uh, Relic, we had AK-47 there towards the end of it. Um, and we killed it. We, we had a we had a bar called Mills that let us uh, oh do fucking God. shows, and we fucking... Murdered it. Put on, time. and put on, and put on, Even and put the mainstream on. rappers around here that were, like, going hard at the time... I don't know why they were jealous, because it was a whole different crowd. 
Yeah, but they could. The cool thing about our shows was is that like here's the difference between what we do and what everybody else does. Um, I've seen horrorcore promoters only put um, horrorcore acts on, and it worked just fine. And I've seen horrorcore promoters put um, like mainstream type acts on a uh, on a horrorcore show, and it failed miserably. But we could. We could mix horrorcore and hip hop in the same house, or horrorcore and mainstream music. Because think about who we had in there. I mean, fuck, we had Random Tanner. Yeah. Uh, we had fucking uh, Jake Koya. Mm-hmm. Um, that show was hot, dude. We killed that show. We we had we had Big Buzz at one time. We had, uh, um, you know, just more like. Radio friendly music in there, but we also had outsiders. We had AK forty seven. We had fucking Zagan. We had uh, the Sinister. Uh, one show was there. Um, you know, we had a lot of different, a lot of different shit, and we put on like a motherfucker and made that shit work, bro. And that's and, how I think it should be because uh, in the hip hop community, everybody just like gets uh, like strays away from each other. This is my kind of shit. This is my shit. We all just need to come together and fucking. Make music. That's what it's That'll about. never happen, though. Oh, no. No. But, but that's like, what should happen. But that's what's cool about us, is that we can make it happen. Of course. We can do whatever the fuck we want to. Like, we're playing an R&B song on this, on this show. Yep. And... And that was the thing. It's gonna be okay. And that's great. Ain't nobody gonna say shit. Of course not. Because <laughs> we the shit. Exactly. Oh. Um... So, yeah, so we killed Mills for a little bit. We really did. Um... I believe at one point, how much money did they make that one night? One night we it was had like twenty five hundred. I think yeah, twenty five hundred. I don't know if that's a lot, but I feel like a, that's a lot for where we're at. In no, it was more than that, dude. Because somebody I remember, tried to say twenty five thousand at one time, no, it, but it wasn't that. I think I, I think we brought in like at least eight because there were so many people and. We, we also were, had a lot of bad things happen. No, also, we had a riot. Yeah, but we we had a I fight, think, a couple fights. I think they drank so much because at that point in time, our music was about you need to get fucked up. Well, and we were just more of like a hype, like you know. <sighs> excuse me. Uh, when when we get um up there and we do our thing and shit, our music is always more aggressive. So, um. Obviously, yeah, you put people in a party type of <laughs> and they're gonna get fucked up. Uh, which I that fucking riot was like, oh my, God. unacceptable type shit, and I won't ever go into the, that show because that's not us. Like, yeah, not. we fucking we beat some ass. We fucked up. <laughs> we beat some ass. No, but we beat some ass at some shows, and well. I beat him at the same show. I, I, I so was like, gonna I beat this. his ass, but then uh, here's like, here we come, blue flash lightning. No questions asked. Um, That's how it should be. So we so we had Mills. We uh, Mills shut down, um, <laughs> and we kind of lost. I feel like that was kind of our fault. No, they weren't making enough money. Oh, okay, good. They were making Ooh. good money for shows, but we couldn't throw a show every single weekend. We just don't have enough acts around here in order for us to do that, and I'm not perform. I'm not performing seven nights a week at the fucking no, at a pizza no. slash bar. But you know, it's cool that we got to do what we could for the yeah, time being there. Yeah. Um. We had a kid come see us and won our autographs and shit. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Came all the way from Wisconsin. Yeah, that was uh, Karen's Island, daughter, right? Up. Yeah. Yeah, Karen. Shout out to Karen. Shout out to your child. Yeah, shout out to your child. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, after we lost Mills, uh, oh, uh, we decided that we were gonna take Outsiders Inc. and uh, make it a legit business. So what we said to everybody is we were like. Um, you know, hey guys, we're going to drop the label. Um, we're going to work on something bigger and better and we'll be back. And that's when we made OMG. And yeah, we couldn't use incorporated in our name for some fuck ass reason. It wouldn't allow us to. Um, so we changed our name to Outsiders Music Group and then we came back to all of our artists. Yeah. Well, they came back to us. No, no, they didn't. Uh, we came, we came back to our, our show, <coughs> and we're like, hey, everybody, we're back, this is the deal, we got contracts, we're ready to do this legit, 
we even had a possible investor at the time. Yeah, I remember. And um, at that point, as SOTW quit rapping, uh, Wicked Whitey had quit rapping. Um, I don't think I don't think I never approached Zagan. I never approached Zagan, and I think that's because I believe Zagan don't need something like. Outsiders. And he's got his own deal going on. Well, not only his own deal, like this is before SPR, but his uh, his stage show, his everything needs to be bigger than what I can offer him. Yeah. I so I never that. thought, and it wouldn't yeah. be it wouldn't be uh, um, uh, beneficial for him. And by the way, Zagan, I don't hate you. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we didn't get Zagan back. Uh, I think. Everybody had either quit rapping or fell off at this point. So me, you, and J-Rad um, got Relly Glow and Austin Haynes. And Austin signed, did a video, and dipped the fuck out on it. <laughs> Didn't even promote his video. So it wasn't even about like, oh, I got what I wanted out of you guys and I'm gone. He had his other shit. This dude like just that. fucking like, I put him on a couple shows. All that shit and just dipped. No thanks. All right, cool. So we ran with it. We had uh, we didn't really work on much. We didn't really do shit. It was everything was pretty much focused on the label, I think, and yeah. getting label shit At done. And no, we did bad trip. Oh, you're right. We did work on the the free EP or mixtape or whatever the fuck it is. Um, yeah, we did that. Uh, in the meanwhile, Relly did his shit. Um, I feel like Bad Trip was like super underrated. I feel like a lot of our shit is underrated. Of course it is. We're the shit. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, so yeah, so we did Bad Trip. Um, Relly ended up leaving. Yep. Sure did. Why did he end up leaving? I don't know. He always leaves. I don't remember why he left that time. But then, we fell out. Again. 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 All the time. Um, and then, Riley came back. We started Havoc Boys. Yeah. I'm not even talking about myself throughout this whole little journey. I'm just talking about Outsiders. I know. Um, as a label. Because I just realized that I'm missing so much shit about myself that has happened over the years. But it's not about me at the moment. Um... So it was me and Riley did the Havoc Boys. We yeah. won the contest. Um, got our video. But no, before that, um, Riley came back <coughs> to the label. Then Riley left the label because we had beef with Tanner. And Riley won the fuck with Tanner. And we were like, nah. Nah. Like... Either you're you're riding out with us, like my enemy is your enemy type shit, or you ain't riding with us at all. So he told me he wasn't going to do the show. Did the scheduled show for the night. Then the next night, went and did the show. So we were like, oh, okay, you're out. Then he comes back, yep. and he's like, you know, I'll always be an outsider. You can't tell me I'm not an outsider. And that hit me, bro. Yeah. That hit me because ain't nobody like, we all know what it is, but can't ain't nobody ever really said that to me. What? We are outsiders. Relic is an outsider. Yeah. Straight J-Rad's up. J-Rad's an outsider. J-Rad's an outsider. Um, that dude, Richie, he looks like he'd be an outsider. Richie. The, the uh, Relic's running with. I don't yeah. know if you've seen him. He looks like he'd be an outsider. That's the point. It's outsiders. We're supposed to be family. We're supposed to be... There for each other, no matter what. Well, not even there for... Because it's going to be people that I don't even fucking know. But I'm not going to judge you, and I'm not going to... You know what I mean? That's what outsiders is all about. Acceptance. You know, the biggest thing, like... We were the outsiders to the juggalo world. Yeah. Or at least that's how I felt about myself, and that's where that this whole thing stemmed from. Yeah. I was a juggalo... Because I was an outcast, and I felt what they were talking about, or I felt the 
family love, so to speak, even though I didn't know a fucking juggalo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I just thought it was cool. I was fucking like 11. You know what I mean? I fell into the shit. And then, come to find out, don't know juggalos like me. Okay, well, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. When the kids nobody likes don't like you, <laughs> you, you know you're a piece of shit. So, um, but yeah. We're just different, man. Yeah. And that's what makes outsiders outsiders is we're just different, and we're not afraid to be different. Not like on some juggalo shit, but on some on some real shit, you know. It, it, ain't, it, same with me. Juggalo community didn't like me either. And it was just like, this is where I found, this is where home is. This is where I, it's outside. Right. That's you know, how I feel. It's too. like it, it's like a home. It's where I can go, even even if we're not on the best of terms. I can come to your doorstep if I ain't got go, nowhere to go tonight. Even if you're pit, if you're salty with yeah. me, be like, look, man, I, I I I know you got my back, and you do every single time. Just like I'll have your back, and that's what it's about is uh, accepting each other. Even exactly. With our See, and this is this is what Relic hit me with. When, when he got booted for the Tanner shit and then came back. Um, he exactly, I'm an outsider. Nothing you can say tells me that I'm not an outsider. And I was like, you know what? I ain't never heard nobody say that before. That's like, I feel that shit, bro. Because I made, I, we made the shit for a reason. Yeah. So, he comes back. That's when we do the, the Havoc Boys shit and we do the video and all that shit. Um, damn. What happens next? Yeah. Nothing. We Here basically we, we basically just shut the fuck up after that. We didn't do much last year. I released an album. Uh, Relic Room Me. Oh, well, okay, okay. So we released Relic's mixtape. We released... Uh, Devil's Night 4, we release, um, what happens after that? Oh, we were planning on Relic CD? Yeah. We were planning Relic CD, and it goes from that to planning a Cricket Concept CD, and all this other shit, and, uh, the show with Buzz happens. See, I don't want to go into this, though, like... Yeah, I think we're at a good point where we could uh, chop it off because we've been we're we're right where we are now. Pretty much, Just yeah. Now. Pretty much. J Rat ain't with us no more. No. Really ain't, ain't with, with us no. Him. It's me, Brian, T O, and that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. It's us. And, and I feel like T O's a solid dude. I know he ain't going nowhere. I hope yeah, he he's don't. he's straight. I would I would like to uh, AK forty seven stopped in the store the other day when I was at work and uh, said he would like to see T.O. and us basically doing a super group. That's an idea. And we've talked about this before. Yeah, we did. I think we should do it. I think, I think, um, I don't want to set anything in stone without talking to T.O. Uh-huh. Or for the sake of this show to ruin any surprises that might come up, but uh, a new group may be coming to fucking outsiders. <laughs> um, I, I think that's good because... Should we tell them? Who? Them. Uh, no, again, I don't want to... What about... We got to make sure... Uh, me and you? Yeah. What was the heart for? That was not, It was an O. Oh, was it? <laughs> oh, outsiders? Yeah. What do we got coming on? Shit. Oh! Uh, we got an album in the works. Yeah. Yeah. There is an album. Are you looking like, can I say something? Is that what's going on? Yeah, right now? that's Can what I tell the people? I, I, I'm excited. Um, yeah, we just, we just dropped, uh, Coding, Coding Full, Full of Blood. Blood. Check that, that out on Spotify. Yeah, that's just And sick. iTunes and Amazon, Deezer, TikTok, blah, 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 whatever. Anywhere you want to get music, it's probably already there. That's great. Um. Phenomenal. Yeah. Five stars. Um, or just listen to us on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get paid or nothing. Oh, for real. I'm just trying to let people hear our music and shit because we love this, love doing this shit. Yeah. And when people listen to us, it's we love it all that much more. Oh, yeah, for real. Um, for real. But yeah, so we got we got a, a album coming out. Don't know when. Don't know when. But it's gonna be soon. 
and it is, I can, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but. Outsiders is back. Out, yes, Outsiders is back. Plain and simple. And plain and the simple. Outsiders everybody, and, like, loved a couple years ago, which yeah. most people will probably say they don't remember, or blah, blah, blah. But we were getting some love a few years ago from what we were doing, and we're having fun with this again. Uh, yeah. It's not a, It's not that we're trying to be Suicide Boys no more. No, it's uh, we're being ourselves again, and we can actually, we're, uh, it's really, it's it's kind of goofy, in a sense. It's diff- It's very different from anything we did. I think we're focused more on the, uh, not, not really the storylines, because not everything has a storyline, but I feel like we're focused more on the writing aspect of it. Yeah. We're Which, not we're not just slapping together some words to a beat that sounds good and hoping that you hey, know oh, fuck it <laughs> yeah hey, fuck it murder 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 yeah. kill 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 type shit you know we're not doing that oh I'm like, still stabbing was, people first day out it was more like again not that we were trying to be suicide boys but we were trying to conform to a style that everybody was liking yeah because we were like well if there's nothing to be made or there's a way to get it, make make it off of this because this is what is hot. In Let's our defense, we did really fucking oh, good. Oh, I mean, we did our thing. But I'm happy to be back where we're Me at. Me too. Um, so, yeah. Um, I would say probably this summer. Somewhere. Th- this summer. This summer. Yeah. Um, by by the end of summer, you will see a fucking album. The first debut album from Outsiders. Finally, yep. after some other fucking years. <laughs> uh, and it's called Origins. Yeah. It's called Origins, and... Uh... Like I said, you guys are gonna, you guys are really gonna enjoy it. You guys are gonna it. fucking love it. It's gonna turn your fucking brain into shit. It might, it might. Um, In a good way. Shout out to all of our sponsors. Uh, Facebook dot com slash puff and stuff or Facebook <laughs> Facebook dot com slash pns brand. Uh, puff and stuff selling clothes. Um, we got coasters. We got. Uh, buttons, stickers, skate wax, um, and more stuff on the way. Um, shout out to Crooks Cartoons. Yep. Uh, if you want to check him out, look him up on Facebook. Uh, he is who did our, our uh, logo for us. And that shit is pretty fresh. That is fucking sick. Yeah, it's it's really kiddish, but I like it. It's original. Yeah. yeah. So, um, shout out to him for doing that up for us in the clutch. Uh, uh, underground as fuck. Shout out to them. Yeah. Uh, Looked them up on Facebook. They're one of the dopest up and coming promotional uh, pages on Facebook. They've been sharing outsiders for a long time. So shout out to them. Go check them out. I'm pretty sure they have a mixtape going on. They're taking submissions for. Uh, hit them up to see what more about that. Um, shit. We ain't got much more to talk about. But thank you. Those yes. of you that listen to this shit and you get more than halfway through it. Thank you yeah, very thank much. You. So smash the fuck out of that like button. Like and it, hard if it. You, but only if you like it. And if you do enjoy it, subscribe, and we'll have some more quality. No, content. if you don't like it, like it to make me mad. Yeah. Do that shit. Do that. Do uh, that. Man, shout out to everybody that fucks with us. Shout out to T.O. Shout yeah. out to Trip for coming and being a part of this. Thank you. Um, Shout out to myself. Shout out to Brian. Uh, Hit the dick with the microphone. You can, you can, like we said, you can expect the Outsiders album coming, T.O. album coming. Uh, uh, bad Idea has, I have two albums coming. Woo! Um, new groups, Devil's Night 4 coming, th- 5 coming this year. Um, There's a lot of shit coming, y'all. If you would like to pick up anything, again, that is Outsiders related, Facebook.com slash PNS brand. We have all the merch up there on the site yeah. on the Facebook page. If you would like to pick up any bad idea gear, uh, skullpiercingrecords.com. Thank you, everybody, for listening. We're going to get back into some music and probably go smoke have again because night. we're fiends. Be safe. Uh, so check this out. Artist of the Week, uh, soundsofxo.com. Check it out. Extra Overdose. Peace. See you.
wishing I could go back and do it all again. All the time. Well, in this motherfucker, rugged in this motherfucker, high in this motherfucker, live in this motherfucker, push, come to shove, ready to die in this motherfucker. You motherfuckers, get raw in this motherfucker, rugged in this motherfucker, high in this motherfucker, live in this motherfucker, push, come to shove, ready to die in this motherfucker. You motherfuckers, raw and rugged, my wicked niggas love it. Underground lunching on these beaches, yeah, nothing. XOD when they ask me who I be. So much blasphemy is only what they see. But if you look deeper, you see a clearer picture. Everybody don't know which finish as a winner, as a winner, as a winner. No, no, no.